their commentators, Peter Landy and Lou Richards. First quarter from the very muddy MCG in North Melbourne and Richmond. Not a bad crowd of attendance in view of the heavy rain we have had in Melbourne over the past few days. The centre square particularly bad though as Smith tries to crash his way through for Richmond. Doesn't make any headway and we'll see a ball up. I don't think we'll see too many bounces tonight, Lou. Shouldn't imagine so, Pete, but that uh, centre's very, very sticky with that Merry Creek soil there. Umpires are Gavin Doran and Ian Clayton for tonight's clash before, uh, not, as I said, not a bad crowd at the MCG. Now towards the full forward position inside the 50 metre line, chance for North Melbourne's fairly, gets the ball into the forward pocket, that's not a bad sort of a mark taken down there by Crocker. Well, they've got Crocker playing full forward tonight. Uh, every time we've seen Crocker play, Petey's played in defence. He has, but he is a very good mark. Probably about the best facet of his uh, game is his marking ability. And remember that North Melbourne of the Night Owls of the league, they've performed very well under the lights, Pete. They have. Haven't lost a night game for a while. Crocker from forward pocket left has a shot at goal. Off target, I feel. One pointer out of bounds. And one behind, says the goal umpire. So North Melbourne opening the scoring at the 75 second mark of the first quarter. Jim Jess, a veteran to the Richmond side. Plenty of distance in that kick. Could almost be out of bounds. No, Paul gets there first. Norman, oh, paddled it straight out of bounds. No free kick forthcoming. And so a boundary throw in to follow. Fairly and Clark. We saw Clark, I think, Lou in Sydney, didn't we, in uh, the game up there? Played quite well. Played very well. And incidentally, that knocking out of bounds uh, uh, deliberately, Peter, has been, was heavily penalised in the night football and also last Saturday, too, by the umpires. It was. Perhaps a little bit more consistency needed there, but Palm takes the free kick for Richmond. At the back is McCann. Thumps it down to our Siri. Fairly. Oh, it took off the four nominations there. Jess crashed his way through. It's out of bounds and we'll see a boundary throw in two minutes into the first quarter on the outer side. Out of bounds on the North Melbourne half forward line. Actually it's up towards the wing position. This will be Jess and Fairley to go for the knockout. Well, Fairley got that out doing a pretty good job coming in his palm. Ooh. He slung to the ground, caught the heavy one. A little bit too high. That's the second free kick going now. It's fine with the ball coming back and we see it's Poole driving it back up towards McCann. But that's a strong mark. And McCann has the ball right on the edge of the square out towards the wing position. Short pass. It'll be okay. And Atkins has got the ball at centre field. Drives the ball back to half forward. There's a chance for Jonas. He's got the mark. Oh. He quickly plays on. Oh, good play on the part of uh, Bauer that time. Well, yes, sir. Uh, Bauer picks it up. Balks nicely. A hand pass coming over now to Hock. And Hock's kick ball's a bit short, but it's okay. The ball marked here by Anir. Always a good kick getter, uh, an ear back to Lovell. Lovell got it on the shoulder with the umpire called play on. There's a chance now as the ball is driven by uh, Geary. Geary gets it out. That's a mark. That'll be to Matt. Good play on the part of Richmond. Very strong play indeed. And Matt performed rather well when he was moved to full forward against Hawthorne. This is a strong grab. Strong mark by uh, Matt. He's got a chance to put a goal on the board here from about 25 metres out on a slight angle. And of course, North Melbourne have already kicked one point into this quarter by just over three and a half minutes. Manton in that game against Hawthorne finished up with three goals. Waiting on Manton now to put the Tigers' first score on the board. There she is on its way. And he's put it through for a goal. So Richmond, at the, uh, just on the four-minute mark, a one goal, six points. For North Melbourne, one point over. That's a good start for the Tigers because North Melbourne, known as, as I said before, the Night Owls of this night football, and they do pretty well. Ball well, driven down there by uh, by Geary. And a good mark taken there by Matt in front of Passmore. So it's the centre bounce again, just over the four-minute mark. Richmond lead by five points in the first quarter. Sivens big league from the MCG. Picked up by Fairley. Over to Norman. Schimmelbush at right half forward. Thank you. Put the Kangaroos deep into attack. Leading out well. Crocker for mark number two. As I said, he's an excellent mark, the best part of his game, I think. Kick again, dropping short. Fairly over the back, tried to take the stream and not successful. Chance for Dimitriou. Buckley. That will be a mark, I think. 
Yeah, the hot the umpire has paid it. Yes, he has. I think that Dimitri has a relation of Korkamilis, isn't he? <laughs> but we're the same number. Similarity. I don't think either player would be happy with that. I believe you want to call them. Peter German will take the free kick for North Melbourne. German goes for a short pass, looking for and finding Fairley, leading out well and marking in front of Jimmy Jess. Well, actually, Fairley's played very well in this first five minutes of football. He's uh, what, uh, taken a mark and he's been in most moves up forward, Pete. And we saw him play very well the last time North Melbourne were involved in a night fixture here at the MCG. That night he played in defence. He was one of their best players, I think, from memory too. Fairley's kick just might get there. It's a goal, is it? Yes, it is. North in front. So fairly puts through North Melbourne's first goal, the Kangaroos 1-1-7, Richmond one goal, six points at the MCG. Round about the uh, 16 to 17,000 mark, there's the kick again by Fell, it's a long kick, at least 50 metres out, and a good goal. He's developing to a pretty good player, Fairley. Seventh big league from the MCG, a very, very muddy centre square area. One point the difference in favour of North Melbourne. Knocked out for Richmond by Clark. No one getting it out of the centre. The players will be very hard to pick up, I think, by uh, half-time. I think it'll go too near that mud. Umpire Clayton throwing the ball in the air. There was a, a rubber pad in the centre circle that the umpires can bounce it on. Richmond get driven forward. That's by uh, Eustace. His kick up towards the half-forward line inside the 50-metre line. Picked up for North Melbourne by Law. And Law's kick back towards centre field. Ball knocked out by Strawn, grabbed here by a series. Good bit of players. Oh, there's a nearly a pin the back to German, but the umpire said it'll be a ball up. Well, well he might have got it on the back that time, but the umpire didn't think so. I thought he got it in the back twice. So it'll be a ball up out towards the edge of the square, <laughs> round about the centre field here, but by God, that is a blue pot in the centre there. It sure looks like Alf Jolson. Knocked out that time by Clark, coming into meet as the ever-reliable law. That's a long kick over the half-forward line. Trocker again. Balks, he's in a bit of trouble. Well tackled by Anir, but backing up well that time was Buckley. Got the ball back. Ball kicked by uh, by German. It's marked here now by Hickey, and he's well within kicking distance. Hickey would be about uh, 30 metres out, if that, in the forward pocket. The angle could be a little bit difficult for him. Got a bit of mud over him too, but it's very slushy in the centre. That's where Hickey will be doing his uh, dirtiest work tonight. Waiting on Hickey to fire at goal. There she is on its way. Won't make the distance. Oh, only a mark, but going through that time is Buckley. He might have got it through. I think he has it for goal. I think he has, yes, a goal. He dribbled it through, but he got it, Buckley. So North Melbourne go to two goals, 1-13 to Richmond, one goal, six points as we approach the eight-minute mark of this first quarter. Goal kickers for North Melbourne, Fairley and Buckley as we watch that in replay. And for Richmond, Manton is their goal kicker after a strong mark. That wasn't marked, but Buckley reading the play well, despite the tackle from an air, was able to just dribble it through. Peter Jonas is pretty happy, and the goal umpire gave the all-clear, and I'm sure John Kennedy in the North Melbourne coaches' box would also be pretty happy with that result. But it's a long way to go yet. Seven points the difference in favour of North Melbourne. McCann. Oh, that was knocked out by Poole down towards centre-half forward. Kicked off the ground that time by Waitman. Finally comes over to uh, Bauer. Kicks it up high towards the half-forward line. Hits the deck again. As the chance, that was Pickering going through, and he was well collared like Eustace. James ran into a brick wall when he met too high. German that time, he said it was too high. So James will have the free kick within the 50-metre mark, around about the uh, half-forward flank position now for uh, Richmond. The distance may be a little bit too far, considering this ball would be pretty heavy, even though we've only been going, what, uh, just on nine minutes. Very heavy, this ground. There's the kick by James. Oh, that's a mighty kick and a beautiful goal by James. And it's only a point the difference now. So the Tigers bouncing back pretty quickly. Two goals, 113 North Melbourne to Richmond. Two goals, 12 points. As we approach the nine and a half minute mark of the first quarter. Fairley and Buckley, the goal kickers for North Melbourne. For Richmond, Manton and this one by James. Excellent kick with, as Lou said, a ball already heavy with the water and mud. But it never looked like missing, and a valuable one for Richmond. Nine and a half minutes into the first quarter. Once again, one point the difference in favour of North Melbourne, 13 to 12. In favour of the Kangaroos, knocked down by Clark. Picked up by Ania. Ania's kicked down towards the half-forward line. 
then Dinning over runs the ball, in comes Passmore very solidly for North Melbourne. But the end result of that is going to be a, uh, a ball up. I thought Matt may be a bit stiff. I thought he copped it a bit high going past when he went for that hand pass too, Pete. Obviously didn't see it. So a ball up. Well, the umpire bouncing it there. Knocked away by Manton. Chance for North Melbourne. That was uh, Norman trying to get the ball into the open spaces. Then Dinning takes the hand pass. Looks for a free kick for holding the man and will come out with the ball. Well, uh, North Melbourne expect a good game from Glenn Dinning. Hasn't played a good game all year since coming back, Pete. And he's been in the Dolphins for nearly uh, the last season too. Yeah, well, the times we've seen him, he hasn't played the greatest of football. Ball driven up toward the half-forward line. That's a safe mark for Richmond. It's gone. Gets the hand pass back to Anir. Tigers go forward, driven up by Hogg. Hogg up towards the right half-forward flank. The only, the opportunity for the opportunist. Couldn't take advantage of it through the legs of Passmore, but he make, uh, makes amends, gets it back to Ackerley right on the boundary line. Ackerley's pass is OK, the mark taken by Dimitriou on centre wing. Andy Dimitriou back into the North Melbourne side as it has uh, had a few problems with injuries. Up towards left half forward, thank and near overruns the ball. Actually, not a bad standard of game. Out comes the hand pass from Eustace into the open spaces on centre wing. Chance for the Tigers to go forward as it's picked up down there by Bauer. Bowers kick up towards the edge of the square and the mark is taken for Richmond. That was by Pickering. Pickering over to Poole. Poole up towards full forward trying to find Matt. He's got it. Mark number two. Looking good up there at full forward. Matt has gone for a hand pass and the steps off the goal by Geary is good. It's a goal. Richmond in front. He is looking good. That was an excellent mark. I don't know whether he was not confident of kicking but the end result was what Richmond wanted a goal and it was put through in the end by Geary his first at Richmond's third well that all started from the half back line and we see Poole pick that up now drive it well down with a perfect pass well positioned he was too tall for a pass more and a beautiful hand pass unselfish play by Madden for an easy goal for Geary Geary, Manton and James the goal kickers for Richmond the Tigers lead by five points just past the 12 minute mark of the first quarter as the ball was knocked away for Richmond by Clark. And doing a good job ducking. Here's this Clark going for a fresh air shot. But he had no hope the big uh, fellow that time in the middle of the glue pot. Couldn't get his boots out of the ground and the umpire will ball it up again. Actually you could lose your boot in there. Luke. Certainly could. They tell me his boots are that big he's got to send them down to the car wash to get them clean. Don't know if it's right or not. He's about six foot seven. Ball coming out wide, now's the chance for Richmond to go through Poole again. This fellow's a mighty dangerous player from 50 metres out. Chance for Manton again, got his hands to it. The umpire said it'll be a free kick, there wasn't, it was interference, it wasn't a mark. He He's indicated. looking uh, mighty dangerous down there, he looks as though he could be a full forward, this guy. And uh, of course, uh, he indicated the regular... he was held, let's see if that is the case. Yeah, on the shoulder, Pete, I would say, by Passmore. And of course, their favourite full forward, Roach, is out. And watching the game tonight from the grandstand. He would be, and uh, of course, uh, the last couple of weeks, uh, Michael hasn't played that well either, but this kid is shaping up pretty well. Goal number two, and he's got it. He's got it through for a goal, so the Tigers looking good at this early stage. 30 and a half minutes gone of the first quarter. Four goals straight, 24. That would win games, kicking like that to two goals, 1-13. North Melbourne have had more kicks than Richmond, 22-14. The marks, 8-7, to seven, also in favour of the Roos. The handballs Richmond's favour, 8-6 to six in the first quarter, which is, uh, or has been in progress, nearly 14 minutes. Well, the crowd building up, which is the pattern of these night games at the MCG, and uh, around about the 20,000 mark. Richmond lead by 11 points, 24 plays 13 at the MCG on Sevens Big League. Just into the 14-minute mark, knocked out by McCann. Going through that time was fairly... Oh, golly, there was a bit of rough stuff going on. Lovell finally gets the ball back to Richmond's half four line. Smith only got a hand with it. Good safe mark by uh, Law. Over it goes now to Ackley out towards the series. And the little boy, the little plumber, Smart, gets the ball down to the half forward line. Jimmy Jess winning the race for the ball then. Something off the ground. That's experience for you. And the ball is out of bounds. It's on North Melbourne's half forward line, about 65 metres around from their goal. Richmond, four goals, 24 points to North Melbourne, 2-1-3rd as we approach the uh, 14 and a half minute mark of the first quarter. Just wins that knockout. Thanks, Luke. Sorry, Pete. It's all right. Had, uh, no problems. Socket away by Eustace. Norman overruns the ball. Actually, nearly crashed into one of his teammates. Geary for Richmond gets the short one in. 
The mark there was taken by Matthew Larkin on right centre wing. 15 minutes gone in the first quarter. Richmond lead by 11. Strawn tries to knock the ball clear. Chance for Eustace again. His kick back towards centre wing. And again the mark taken for North Melbourne. This time by Schimmelbush. He gets a 15 metre penalty. Been a great player for North. Possibly next year could notch his 300 games. Almost a mark taken. In goes Anir. Plus about uh, 10 or 12 other players. And the end result of all that is going to be a bounce. Pete, they're handling the conditions pretty well considering it's so heavy. Remarkably. Uh, remarkably well. Yeah, the only bad part of the ground is that centre wicket area, which with the Merry Creek soil is very wet, damp, sticky and smelly. Thumped away by a hog. Good football by Eustace, off the ground. That's the way to play it under these conditions. Glenn Dinning to half forward. Jess gets there first for Richmond. Goes for the boundary line. Success goes his way. It's going to be a boundary throw in about 35 metres from goal. North Melbourne's left forward pocket. In a pretty good standard of game so far, despite the conditions. I'm sure it's a lot warmer at home than it is here. Knocked down by Jodas. Picked up by Buckley, but Straw knocks it away from him. Off the ground, Dimitriou, no, tried to pick it up. Actually, the odds might have been in favour of having a shot off the ground there, but he didn't elect to do just that. Jonas, the opportunity again. Gets well bumped over, the umpire says in the back. Oh, I reckon that was a fair bump. I thought it was a hip and shoulder. Let's watch it again. No, that oh, was in the got back. him in the back, the umpire was right. We have the advantage of the replay, they don't. We often say the umpires are closer than we are. Peter Jonas is about 20 metres from goal. Beautiful shot. Never looked like missing. Jonas always dangerous near goal and put that one through for North Melbourne's third. 3-1-19 to four goals, 24 points. Well, there's a difference of five points. Uh, as Pete said, they've had more of the ball, North Melbourne, but not using it as well as Richmond, but they look better then. That was a nice goal kick by Jonas. A Fair. very accurate kick near the goals. Fairly, Jonas and Buckley, the goal kickers for North Melbourne. For Richmond, two to Manton, one to James and one to Geary. Seventeen minutes got in the first quarter. Nineteen plays, twenty-four, an advantage of five points in favour of Richmond. Who's going to get it out of the glue pot? Our series kick is short, in fact partly smothered. He gets the hand pass again, puts North Melbourne deep into attack. That was a slick hand pass from Schimmelbush. Crocker got one in the back from Hogg, but the ball knocked on. Forced out of bounds by uh, Lovell. I think he might uh, throw it in. He's not going to uh, uh, penalise Lovell for that. Ball out of bounds on that uh, forward pocket position for uh, North Melbourne. About 40 metres around from their goal. Knocked out by Jess. There's a chance there for the ball to come back to a serious chance for a goal. The little fella fires, he's got it through. And North Melbourne have hit the front by a point. Four goals, 125 to Richmond, four goals, 24. Our series first goal, fairly Jodas and Buckley, the other contributors for North Melbourne in that regard. Our Siri, always a valuable player in the times that we've seen the Kangaroos and does a lot of good work close to goal, capping it off there with his first for the night that came up at the 18 minute mark of the first quarter well he's a dangerous little player he knows where to go and to be at the right time at the right place at the right time one point the difference sevens big league special edition from the mcg 25 plays 24 in favor of north 18 and a half minutes gone as clark gets the ball down it's pool driving it over the half forward line rioli comes in smothers that falls down glenn denny can't pick it up either rioli's in there trying to get it away from him but the umpire will ball it up Right on the 50 metre mark in uh, Richmond's attacking zone. Directly in front for goal, uh, Richmond trailing by one point. Umpire throws it up, Clark against McCann, knocked out by McCann. German, uh, not German, Norman gets a hurried kick. Oh, good bit of play by uh, Parr. Over it goes to Strawn, a long hand pass. Out there to Anir on his own, he fumbled at first, but he's right now. Goes for pass, looking for Rioli. Well played by uh, Law, picked up by Ackley in the North Melbourne defence, standing up well as they send the ball out wide, but there's Poole doing a great job out there, or we're playing in the centre. Back it goes now to Palm, he's grabbed, he gets the ball away, back to Poole, Poole gets a hurried kick, it falls short, and good safe play by Passmore. Over it goes now to Hickey at centre half back, the ball out wide, in the middle of the mud, coming out to meet it is uh, Bauer, picks it up beautifully for a tall guy too. He he could fall over, he doesn't watch himself, but he goes for the long kick. Big chance for McCann, went the punch, knocked on again by Glenn Denny. 
Back it goes, sliding. Then we see Hickey go down again. Coming through as pool. What a game. He's playing a long shot at goal, but he's off target. And it's through for one point. So that makes scores dead level. 25 points apiece. Into the quarter by just over 20 minutes. And it's a darn good game. A very uh, hard-fought contest so far. North Melbourne still with a big chance to make the five. Richmond can too, Luke. Well, they've both got a win today as we see the ball driven back. There's a go there by Waitman. A running shot at goal. It'll be through. The Tigers have hit the front. It's a goal. It's a goal to Waitman. So it's Richmond now. Five goals, 131 to North Melbourne. 4 one twenty-five, And we're just on the 21-minute mark of this first quarter. Waitman's first goal as we watch that in replay. Manton has two. James one. Geary one for Richmond. Waitman from 40 metres out. Landed the ball adjacent to the kickoff line. And the goal umpire indicated that full points were the order of the day. A pretty high standard game. From the MCG, 21 minutes got in the first quarter. That was Waitman's first goal. Knocked away by McCann, but he can't get it out of the glue pot centre area. Wild hand pass comes out. North Melbourne get driven forward up towards the left centre wing position and the mark is taken there by Fairley. Playing a good game so far. Fairley a short pass. That could have been almost been in the back. Picked up by Jess, but it's out of bounds. Jimmy Jess, one of the veterans of the Richmond side. And captain tonight, Pete. Knocked away by Fairley from Strawn. Strawn picks it up though for Richmond, drives them back towards centre for centre wing, and a good safe mark taken by Schimmelbush. To half forward, out comes Fairley. Oh, great mark! Just tried to punch it away. The ball was too far in front of him though. Fairley goes for a pass. Knocked back by German, tried to find Arsiri, couldn't quite get him. The intention was there. Umpire Clayton has decided on a bounce or a ball up about 15 metres out from goal. 31 plays 25. A goal the difference in favour of the Tigers. Jonas and Strawn. Palm. Waitman. Quick free kick to Waitman. Gone for a pass to Poole, who's been probably the best on the ground so far. He's played a ripper first quarter. If he can keep it up, he'll be very close to BOG. Poole's kick is a long one up towards centre field. Or pass more collided with one of his teammates and also Rioli. Gives a chance for Richmond. A long hand pass comes out in the uh, direction of Smith. He's gone for a pass again. Atkins can't get there first. Picked up by Eustace on the boundary line. Forward pocket has a snapshot of goal. That's a ripper. What a great goal from Eustace. And the former Essendon player puts Richmond ahead by two goals, 6-1 to 4-1 at the MCG. Well, that was a brilliant bit of play on the part of Eustace then. But we see the ball knocked out uh, to Eustace, right on the boundary line. And the ex Essendon player, who's in great form at the moment, dobbed that through for a magnificent goal to give the Tigers a 12-point lead. Well, 10 goals kicked so far in the first quarter under these conditions is excellent football. Both of these sides handled the conditions extremely well. 23 and a half minutes got in the first quarter. That was Eustace's first goal. It gives Richmond a lead of 12 points. 12 points the difference in favour of the Tigers. Knocked out by Clark. A fumble there at the centre of the ground. Nearly a free kick to uh, North Melbourne. But the umpire said no. Thought it might have been a free kick to Buckley. He was grabbed, but the umpire didn't think so. Clark doing a pretty good job. Number 42 for Richmond against McCann. Well, McCann got that one out. Oh, oh golly, run into a brick wall that time. I think it might have been... Uh, Buckley ran into. It was Palm. And ball up again. We're out towards the edge of the glue pot now. Out towards the outer side of the ground. Knocked out by McCann. Intercepted by, by Jess. Over, to, uh, over it goes to Palm. He knocked the Siri over. Goes after it again. The Siri. This is Waitman coming out. Great play on the part of Waitman. He's gone for pass to Rioli. He's pretty well covered by Ackley. He's going after Ackley now. The ball is thrown out of the pack. There's a chance now as the ball is picked up by a Siri again. Over to Atkins. North Melbourne get it out of the danger zone. Picked up by Larkin, who's been pretty quiet this first uh, quarter. We haven't seen much, but there's a mark to Demetrio out there in the centre wing position. Rioli's been pretty quiet too, Luke. Well, I don't think Rioli's uh, had a possession yet. Finally, it's going out wide. Jonas flies over the top of the pack, knocked his own teammate over then in Norman, and the ball is out of bounds. 
So it's out of bounds about 65 metres around from the North Melbourne goal. They're trailing by 12 points. Punched out again by Clark. Larkin couldn't get clear. He's grabbed that time by Lovell. The ball finally driven up there by Hickey. Up towards, punched out by Hogg. Away from uh, Brockland. The ball is out of bounds. Good play on the part of Hogg that time. And of course, I think Pete mentioned before, Crocker's a pretty good mark. Well, out of bounds in that forward pocket, about 35 metres around from the North Melbourne goal. They're trailing by 12 points as we approach the 25 and a half minute mark. There's Hickey again. Ball tapped on again by Strawn, and it's out of bounds in the forward pocket again for North Melbourne. You and I were both very impressed by Hickey the last time we saw him here at North Melbourne at uh, the MCG loop. Well, he's a goer. There's not much style about him, but he'll keep on going he's a goer. until he drops, Pete. Yes, but I think uh, I'd give that to Hickey. Uh, Anir over to the time to uh, wait, and back it goes to Palm. Not doing a good, uh, bad job down there at half back either. Manton again, getting away from, uh, getting away from his opponent. Laws mining, but at the moment they've shifted past more. Back it goes now to over the centre half forward position. Punched out by Glenn Dennis is pilled, trying to get Ooh. it out. Now Rioli's got a chance to get clear. A hurried kick towards the goal, but it's smothered. And they pile on top of the umpire's foul. A free kick. It'll go to Shimmerwood. Got one in the back. He's got a 15-metre penalty. This brings him back over the edge of the centre square. Shimabus, the North Melbourne skipper, drives it long. Jess flies. Take up the pack by Fairley. Over to Larkin. Larkin's clear. Runs at the 50-metre mark. Has a long shot at goal. Looking for Crocker, but it was too long. And it's through for one point. So North Melbourne, they move to four goals, 226. To Richmond, six goals, 137. And we're just over the 26 and a half minute mark of the first quarter. Number 48 for Richmond is Hogg. Time on being played in the opening term, 11 points the difference. Hogg focus the member stand side to clear the ball. Glenn Dinning in front. Arsiri. <coughs> Went toward full forward again and Crocker couldn't quite take the mark. Chance for the Tigers and the ball is picked up by uh, Palm. Used as it was, down it goes... Uh, towards uh, Ania up towards centre week now it comes back to Pickering who takes the hand pass from Lovell up towards the Tigers half forward line ball booted away by Law but he didn't kick it very far still at the 50 metre line Richmond doing a lot of attacking in the first quarter Ackerley grabbed and ridden into the ground umpire Clayton says though now it's going to be a bounce or a ball up at the 27 and a half minute mark of the turn well, Richmond tackling very well they lead by 11 points the forward line has functioned better than North Melbourne's. Smith and McCann. Passmore, who started on Manton. James thumps the ball down. Picked up by Passmore. Can't get clear. Larkin goes for a wild hand pass. Picked up by Fairley. Just short of left centre wing. Long kick from that player. Down towards the left half forward line. Jonas crashes his way through. Went without the ball though. Hickey's in there. Might have grabbed his opponent too high. Now holding the ball. Free kick going to Hickey. Hickey at left half forward flank, and as we mentioned, he's a real goer. Down towards full forward. Chance for the Tigers now to clear the ball. Whoops, a daisy. The hand pass originally came from Craig Smith. The free kick will go to Greg Strawn. Strawn from back pocket right. He's right around the flank, very close to the boundary line. And the mark is taken by, uh, by uh, Norman. Might be a free kick though. Going to uh, Eustace. They kicked a beautiful goal before. Eustace's kick is up to the centre wing position. He's opposite number four, Glenn Dinning. Gets it back to Schimmelbush. A short pass. The mark taken by Norman. Larkin. Long kick. Started quietly in the opening term. Up towards Strawn in front. Plays it very coolly. Long hand pass. Back to Poole, who's played excellent football in the first quarter. Demetrio overruns the ball. Poole, beautiful ball handling. Hand pass again. Comes out to Gill. Bauer did, Bauer, long kick, up the full forward, was that touched? Don't know, it might be a goal, it is, it's a goal! Great shot, and that came at the 29 minute mark, seven goals for the quarter, an unbelievable start to Richmond, 7-1 to 4-2. Well it's an unbelievable quarter, 11 goals kicked, and what's that, uh, that all started from Pearl too, magnificent play, Bauer driving it well down, I thought uh, Law may have touched that, but not on the replay, it skidded through for a goal. And of course, that's given them to the Tigers a great start in this first quarter. So Bauer's first goal, and seven goals under these conditions. Excellent football. 
43 plays 26 at the MCG, nearly five minutes into time on. 17 points the difference. There's Eustace having a battle, picked up that time by a near. Glendinning in front, the umpire's got to pay that mark in front of Pickham. He's gone for a hand pass. Phil, he's playing the part of Glendinning. Knocked out by Rioli, back to Waitman, who got one on the back. There's a near going in pretty hard. Or was that Pickering? It was Pickering, and the umpire's going to ball it up. A ball up round about set a half forward for Richmond. I'll tell you what, the, these players wouldn't be recognised by their own mothers. Ball knocked out by Clark. Picked up by Pickering again. Couldn't get out of that uh, quagmire there, and the umpire will ball it up. Fantastic performance here. 11 goals kicked in the first quarter, and this ground is mighty heavy. I'm staggered, I must admit. Looks like a cow paddock. There's the end of the first quarter, a quarter time at the MCG. On the big league, we see uh, Richmond doing pretty well. Seven goals, 143. For North Melbourne, 40, four goals, 226. Richmond lead by 17 points as we begin the second quarter at the MCG. Great kicking in the first quarter, 7-1 to 4-2, and Manton has two goals. Picked up by Larkin, but umpire Clayton has found a free kick. Arguably penalising the side. And will be taken by McCann at centre field. An advantage rule not paid there. McCann probably broke even in the ruck in the first quarter. McCann from the circle. Down to the 50-yard or 50-metre line. Almost a mark. In fact, the umpire has paid the mark to Palm. Gets a 15-metre penalty. Not quite sure what to do with it. Richmond, though, handled the conditions much better in the first quarter than North Melbourne. They played in front. McCann knocks the ball down. Charts for Geary to try and get it into the open spaces. Not exactly what you'd call easy from there. And umpire Clayton will bounce it or ball it up at the one-minute mark of the second term. McCann taps it over the top. Geary fumbles. Chance for a near. Over to Poole, who is probably Richmond's best player in the first quarter. Glenn Didding finally picks the ball up after a couple of fumbles. Ball back towards the half-back line. McCann has it knocked away from him. Picked up by Dimitriou. Goes for the hand pass. Back to Larkin, who started quietly. But did come into his own in the latter part of the uh, first quarter. Knock on by Jess. Picked up by Palm. Over to Strawn. 20-metre hand pass. Up towards the edge of the square. Chance for pull again. Dragged to the ground on that occasion by Buckley. Opportunity for the Kangaroos now. As the hand pass comes out to Jonas. He's already kicked one goal, straightens up, 30 metres out, puts it through, looks good from here, and a goal. So a good start for North Melbourne, that goal coming up at the minute and three-quarter mark of the second term, 5-2 to 7-1. Strong play on the part of Hickey that time from about centre-half forward, you watch him pick it up. Good hand pass, a balk, a nice bit of play, balk twice actually that time, uh, Jonas to kick it through for a goal. A very handy one at the start of the second quarter. Jonas 2, Buckley 1, Arsiri 1 and Fairley 1. The goal kickers for North Melbourne. Manton has 2 for Richmond. Into the quarter by uh, just on two and a half minutes. That's the second quarter. 11 points the difference in favour of Richmond. Fantastic first quarter when both sides kicked 11 goals between them under these conditions. Superb performance. There he goes again. This time it's Norman driving the ball back over the half-forward line, but Jimmy Jess has taken the mark, and he's got the mark at the 50-metre defence line. Out wide, at the back is Bauer, got up too high. Coming out to meet it now is Smith and Demetrio. They both go down, but Pearl wins the race for the ball, but it beats him, and it's out of bounds. Out of bounds on the centre wing position on the outer side of the ground. Richmond 7-1, fantastic kicking, 43 points to North Melbourne, 5-2, 32. As we wait now for Clark and uh, McCann to get the knockout. It was McCann had got the knockout. Kick back by James. Off the top of the pack. Going through is Hickey again. Suckers it off the ground. That's the way to play under these conditions. Coming through is uh, Palm again to Rioli. Oh, he's well covered that time by Hickey. Certainly goes after him, this fella. Because he would. He goes after him. Uh, Rioli having a bit of trouble getting away in the mud tonight. I don't, I don't think, I think he's only had one possession so far. Short kick, grabbed by Palm, but it's finally picked up by uh, Spargo. The ball goes down there from that hand pass. 
Down towards the forward pocket, it's Bailey doing a fair job at centre half forward two, drops it short for Demetrio. Good play as he tacks it on, but intercepted that time by Anir. Back to Palm again, working overtime, grabbed by Feely, kicked off the ground by Geary. Going through is Hickey, they won't stop him as it comes out now to Spargo, but there's no one there for North Melbourne, picked up by Craig Smith. Playing in front of a C, but the little fella goes after him. Kicked off the ground by Smith again. A chance for Norman on the boundary line. Picks it up, skids. Got plenty of time to pick up again. Goes for short pass, but that's Lovell taking the mark down there towards the back pocket position. Into the quarter by four and a half minutes. That's the second. That's 11 points, the difference in favour of Richmond. Lovell, assisted by a 15-metre penalty, which brings him up almost to the 50-metre defence line. Hickey again. Shoots the hand pass out to German. German a short pass. Trying to find Jonas and or Crocker. Crocker can't keep it in play and it's out of bounds as we approach the five minute mark of the term. Six kicks to Stephen Hickey so far. He's played well. 5-2 to 7-1 is the scoreboard. I bet uh, John Kennedy, the coach of North Melbourne, Melbourne, loves his style. I don't think he'd need to motivate him too much. Certainly wouldn't. Waitman. In front is McCann. Good mark. Goes for the hand pass. Back it goes to, to Norman. Big pack of players down there. Only picked up by, no, almost picked up by Waitman again. Dimitriou, 35 metres out, steady, shirks. That's another one to North. North coming back. Scoreboard, Simmons Big League from the MCG. North Melbourne, 6-2, 38. And Richmond, 7-1, 43. Well, it's a very high scoring game. That's good play. Bad luck for... Uh for Waitman this time, overruns the ball, he juggled that actually and knocked it right into the hands of uh, Demetrio and uh, even though he had to juggle it a bit, run into an easy goal. And of course the difference only five points now. Well, I don't know whether that's the scoring end, I don't think either end is favoured by a breeze, but North Melbourne looking for each other and teaming better so far in the first quarter, which is in, a, in the second quarter, with it uh, still in its early stages. They're kicking with the mud, Pete. Six minutes gone, second term. North perhaps kicking with the tide. Bow. Up to half forward, thumped away by Glenn Dinning. Picked up finally by Rioli. That was only his second possession. He's been very quiet so far tonight. Opportunity again for Waitman. Good bump by Law for Bauer out of business. Picked up right in the boundary line by Buckley. Scoop back into the open spaces to Crocker. Dimitri who fumbles, but he finally gets north out of danger. Yes, but only a short kick back towards centre wing. And Rioli goes after. He can't pick it up. Uh, coming out now with Smith. He was grabbed, kicked off the ground. Jess has grabbed it. It's a hurried kick back towards the centre of the ground. Good play on the part of Glenn Dinning. He was interfered with as he went through that time. And he'll take the free kick at centre field. Well, he's had Pickering pretty well covered at centre half back. Oh, the kick wasn't a good one. And it's marked out there by Matt. Well, Matt must be having a run in the ruck. I certainly hope they haven't moved him from full forward because he performed there very well in that first quarter when he kicked two goals. Looked really good. Took a couple of nice marks too. Well, we don't know what these coaches do going after his pickering, but he can't get clear of Glenn Dinning. He hasn't let him out of his sight tonight. And he's a pretty smart player. We saw him play a tremendous game against uh, the Swans up there in Sydney in the early part of the year when he kicked five goals. He was their match winner, wasn't he, Lou? Certainly was. Five points the difference in favour of the Tigers. We go to the five, uh, seven and a half minute mark of the second quarter. Finally kicked down there by Eustace. Ah, great mark to uh, James. And James has already kicked one goal. Now he'd be about uh, 30 metres out on a very slight angle. It was a great mark. Here it is in replay, taken in front of Harrington. So James with a chance to put the Tigers a little bit further in front, but North Melbourne breathing right down their necks tonight in a very high standard match. And both sides kicking a lot of goals under very adverse conditions. Just on the eight-minute mark of the second quarter as James comes in from about 30 metres out. There she is on its way. Hit the post. So that's the first bit of bad luck the Tigers have had tonight when shooting for goals. Seven goals, 2.44 to North Melbourne, 6.238. Rolling's on, Terry Smith off for Richmond. Ackerley. That's a good kick too, almost up to the centre wing position. Players handling the conditions to that excellently. Ania goes for a hand pass, not a good one. Dimitriou intercepting well again. Remember he pinched one from Waitman before. 50 metres out, shoots at goal, not a long enough kick. Dimitriou again. Buckley's there for North Melbourne. 
Still a chance for the Kangaroos. The ball out of the arms of uh, German. He has a snapshot of goal. Won't quite make the distance. Dimitri in front has it knocked away by Jess. Did that... Uh, now, the difference between Jeff and uh, Jess and uh, Craig Smith. Craig Smith went for the mark, but Jess didn't muck about. He went for the boundary line, didn't he? Very smartly. 38 to 44. Nine minutes into the second quarter. Asiri should get there first if he can pick it up cleanly. Fires the hand pass out, trying to find Hickey. Does so. Hickey's hand pass is uh, errant. Bauer. A little bit slow to get rid of it. And it's going to be a bounce or a ball up about 25 metres from goal. It's been an excellent game so far, despite the wet and greasy conditions. No rain, thankfully, so far. We've had enough. Knocked down by Fairley. An opportunity for Poole. Ball socket along the ground, out of bounds at the 50 metre defence line. And we'll see a boundary throw in. Not a bad crowd, I guess, in view of the rain we did have earlier in the day. Probably 20,000 here. A win tonight, a must for both of these sides. If they're to stay in contention for the five, knocked down by Jonas, picked up by Larkin for North Melbourne. 55 metres out from goal, has a shot. It's a long one in towards the square. Crocker almost dragged down the mark, actually. Pushed him in the back. In the back, goal. yes. That's, uh, well, fairly obvious, I think. Got him in the back. I don't think you could argue with that. Let's watch it again. Crocker misses the mark. In comes Spargo, gets pushed over by Palm. And Spargo has a chance from about 10 metres out to put it through for his first goal. He has done. And so Spargo brings North Melbourne to within... In fact, the scores are now level. 7-2-44 to 7-2-44. Ten and a half minutes gone, second turn. I think you and I are both surprised at the standard of the game, Lou, tonight. It really has been very, very good. And it's been a very exciting game. And, uh, of course, under these conditions, what, they've kicked 14 goals, which is tremendous. We've only played, what, just 11 minutes into the second quarter. So nine shots. More than 11 goals, 14 goals, I should say. 14 goals, nine shots each. And both sides getting seven. So the conversion rate is excellent. On seventh big league, the scores are dead level. 11 minutes gone, second quarter. That was Spargo's first goal. It did result from a free kick. Knocked down to our Siri. McCann goes for the knock-on. Picked up or knocked on by Geary. Tackled by Eustace is ineffective on Hickey. Lumpire's given a free kick to Eustace. He'll put Richmond into attack back out towards the right half forward flank. The mark taken by Ania. He decides to play on. Hickey a little bit late on the scene. He's gone for a pass down towards full forward. Matt! Back out at full forward, leads out goal, has a chance to put Richmond ahead. I'm just wondering why he was down there on the back line. He might have been having a run the ruck, but you certainly wouldn't have moved this guy from full forward. He started off so well in the first quarter, kicking two goals. That's a strong mark. He's taken three strong marks tonight. And he could easily kick a goal here from about uh, 30 metres out, 35 metres out directly in front. He's well inside the 50 metre mark. There she is on its way. Will it come around and up? One point. So Matt is still doing a pretty good job at full forward. The difference now, one point in favour of uh, Richmond. 44 plays 45, just over the 12-minute mark of the uh, second quarter. Crowd gradually building up, as Pete said before, around about the 20,000. I think the blokes get here a little bit late. They might call out and have a bit of dinner, then come out of the game. Well, it's the deck again. A chance for Eustace, a hand pass. He was looking for Rial, and then down goes James. They collar him. He was just grabbed in mid-air that time, and the umpire will ball it up about uh, 40 metres out from the uh, Richmond goal. Point the difference, and it's been a crackerjack game tonight. Matt got the tap, it was a pretty smart one too, as we see Rollins try to get a quick kick, he's got the cleanest number in the ground, taken away that time by Hickey, doing a terrific job down there, wherever, wherever he plays. Out it goes now, a chance for uh, Law, no, but Law was finally a hand pass, comes out from Lovell over to uh, Rioli's kick is off the side of his boot, punched away by Glenn Dinning, he's got uh, Pickering pretty well covered, knocked on by Ackley, Norman couldn't get clear, Lovell goes through again, but uh, Norman collars him, back it comes to uh, Hickey again, and Hickey drives it back over the half forward line, Jess and Fairley, Fairley doing well too as it goes up to Crocker, he's got his hands, he's marked and a good oh. mark that time in front of Hop. He's a good mark this fellow. He's got it right on the boundary line, only about 15 metres out from goal. Third and mark. And he's, has he kicked a goal yet? He hasn't kicked a goal. Going for goal number one. And of course this will put the, the Kangaroos in front as we approach the 14 minute mark of the second quarter. 
Got to do the old banana kick, but oh. he's put it up there. It's turned into a banana republic. That one as it goes out of bounds, knocked out by Clark. And the umpire will... Oh, it'll be a free kick in that ruck thing. It'll go in that ruck uh, battle. There it'll go one two with Jesper in the back. I thought you were going to say it turned into the Australian dollars. Not worth anything. <laughs> Not much. <laughs> but it's a darn good game as we wait now for Jess in the back pocket position to drive the ball back out there towards half back. Up the pack. Well picked up by Rollins, the cleanest player on the ground. Naturally because he just came onto the ground. In the oldest. And the ball knocked on as a go for Atkins to pick it up down there at half forward for Richmond. But he's having a bit of trouble. There's Poole playing a great game tonight. There's a hand pass from Geary. Well intercepted by Simmerbush. He drubbles it off the ground. He was put off balance. There's a go now for Lovell. Straightens up, fires at the goal. But he's off target and it's through for one point. So the Tigers a little bit further in front. But they can't get away from North Melbourne. Putting up a dogged effort here tonight. Seven goals, 244 North Melbourne. To Richmond, seven goals, 446. Two. Into this second quarter by just on 15 minutes. Two points the difference, but North Melbourne have had 12 more kicks so far. Richmond have had 12 more handballs. Nine to eight. To Richmond, the free kicks. Ackerley. Over 150 games to his credit. Most of those with the Swans, of course. In front is Passmore. Couldn't take the grab. Picked up by Waitman. Waitman's kick back towards full forward. Big pack of players down there. Poole tried to crash his way through. He's opposite number 23, Harrington, diving on top of the whole pack to make sure nobody got clear. And then it's going to be a bounce or ball up about 15 metres from goal. Knocked away by McCann at the second attempt. That tackle might have been a bit too high, but the umpire says no. Picked up by Eustace. Now towards full forward to get it a chance for Poole. He's been a dangerous player tonight. Tries to get it back to Eustace. The umpire says a throw, though. It was two feet all the way. Poole's not too happy about the decision, but he threw it up one hand at that time to try and get it out to his teammate. A free kick to go to North Melbourne. We're taken by uh, Atkins. He goes for a short pass to McCann. He marks in front of Pickering. And Pickering concedes a 15-metre penalty can from just short of the 50 metre defence line to the centre wing position great mark taken by Fairley, one of North Melbourne's best players so far seven kicks he's had and three marks Fairley's kicked to right half forward flank, picked up by Eustace over to Rollings he came on to replace Terry Smith about five minutes back the kick not well directed though and the mark taken by Harrington for North Melbourne Harrington to full forward, oh it might bounce through out of bounds or a point it's a point the one behind as we check the scores now 7-3 to 7-4 one point the difference in favor of the Tigers and the mark is taken out there for Richmond by wow. Clark he got a bad job in the ruck tonight knocked down by German picked up by Larkin Larkin's kick up towards full forward Again, the mark not well, the kick not well directed, taken by Rollings. Rollings has kick out towards the 50 metre line, very close to the boundary. Chance for uh, Richmond to pick the ball up through the agency of Craig Smith, which he does. Delivers it beautifully up towards Pickering. Pickering at left centre wing goes for the pass down towards left half forward flank. Chance for Harrington gets the ball close to the boundary line Larkin gets offloaded the ball out of bounds we'll see a boundary throw in about 70 metres from goal just over the seven and a half minute mark of the second quarter a point the difference in favour of the Tigers nip and tuck this game it's a real tough one but a very high standard ball knocked out by uh, McCann again I would say he's on top of uh, Clark as he uh, the ball is kicked back that time by North Melbourne back towards their half four of wing Ooh. position Going in as Rowley, ran into Norman, couldn't get clear. A good tackle by Norman, picked up by Buckley. A hand pass coming back to Larkin. Goes for a short pass. Vargo missed that, he goes after the game, but into his back that time was uh, Palm. That's the second time he's given him a free kick the same way, but this time it's a lot further out from goal, around right about the 65 metre mark. Last time he got a goal, Lou, didn't That's he? That's right, from about 15 metres out. Actually, Palm's not doing a bad job. Oh, there's uh, a good mark taken here again by uh, Crocker. And as Pete said, a very good mark, this young fellow. He'd be about 40 metres out from goal directly in front. Now, the ball is very heavy. Four marks to Crocker. Will he make the distance? Of course, they're trailing by one point. We approach the 19-minute mark of the second quarter. 
There's been nothing in this game. That's a beautiful kick by Crocker and a goal. So the uh, Kangaroos have hit the front. They're eight goals, 3.51 to Richmond, 7.446. Richmond led by 17 points at quarter time, but once again, North Melbourne in front. As we watch the kick from Spargo and the mark taken by Darren Crocker. Very safe pair of hands. They've had a couple of good marks in there tonight. That's Fairley and Crocker. The centre-half forward, Fairley and Crocker at full forward, Pete. I think Crocker in the latter part of the game last week was moved to full forward with good success. Waiting now for the centre bounce. We approach the 19 and a half minute mark. North Melbourne in front by five points. The ball back to the Tigers half full of love. There's Schimmelbush. I think he's playing as a loose man down there in defence and picking up a couple of kicks. Well, oh, he, the ball goes back now to centre half forward. A short of that. Oh, good play that time by Spargo. Over it goes to Lark in a long running shot at goal. It's off target and through for one point. So the difference now, six points in favour of North Melbourne. North Melbourne starting to get on top of Richmond now, Luke. They're yeah, running a little, little bit better, and the Tigers not using much uh, cooperation there amongst themselves. There's a go for Larkin now, he's grabbed the ball by a near, picked up by Waitman, scouting out well, a hand pass coming over to Geary up there on the wing position. He goes for a pass, and Pickering got away from... Uh, at that time, and a hand pass coming over to Bow. Back it goes now to Rollins out there at the 50 metre mark. A long kick up there towards James, punched out by Harrington, going through exactly. He's thrown it out, and it's out of bounds because it hit the point post. And there'll be a show in that forward pocket position for Road Richmond. Right against their point post, the Tigers trailing by six points. 46 plays, 52 in favour of North Melbourne. But a good quarter for North. Manson and McCann. Ball out to Hickey, if he can pick it up, gets two hands to it, gets tackled by Rollings. Richmond player dragged to the ground, and that was Big Manton. He's kicked a couple of goals tonight and marked fairly well in the key forward post. Not able to get clear there. 20 minutes or 21 minutes into the quarter, a bounce to take place. Right forward pocket for Richmond. Knocked down by McCann, he'll go to the boundary line, and it's over. And so once again, it will be a boundary throw in. Jonas and Manton, the leading goal kickers in the match today, with two each. McCann and Manton. Rioli, he's been fairly quiet. That's only his fourth possession. It could be a valuable one for Richmond. He's bounced it through. It's a goal. Great shot from Morris Rioli. And that's just the one that the Tigers needed to once again level the scores at the MCG. 8-4 to 8-4 as we approach the 22-minute mark. Pete, you would say that was a dead-set pot shot for goal. You watch Rioli now. He'll grab this one. Gets the hand pass. I don't, I don't, I'm quite sure he hasn't looked. He just sense where the goals are. And he's left line, of course, it's lobbed it through for a goal. Bounce right on the line. Rioli's first goal. I think that's about his fourth touch for the match. 22 minutes into the second quarter, scores once again dead level. 52 points each as Richmond swing into attack. Ball picked up though by Schimmelbush, gets it back towards centre field, knocked away by Bat. Oh, Norman should get there first for North Melbourne, he does. He put the Ruse back into attack, he's gone short, trying to find Jonas. Jonas on the old uh, or practice wicket area. Can't take the mark in front of Bauer and it will be a boundary throw in. It's a left half forward for North Melbourne. Fairly. Wins that one. Down to our Siri, but the ball eluding him and also Luffel. And it will be a throw in this time closer to the centre wing position, but still in North Melbourne's attacking area. 22 and three quarter minutes gone. Number 42 is Clark on the right. 16 is McCann. Knocked down by Clark. Waitman got one a little bit too high, not seen by the umpire. Picked up by our Siri. The ball flung out. Taken by Rioli, playing better now after he kicked that beautiful goal and he puts the Tigers deep into attack. Chance for Poole to mark, he's got it. He's a strong player, this fella. Played a great first quarter. He's had eight kicks so far, Lou, and three marks. Well, he's played a strong game. Faded out a bit uh, at the start of this quarter, but that's a strong mark in front of Ackley. A very versatile player, and of course he won their best and fairest last year. This is Poole from about uh, 20 metres out directly in front and a big chance to put the Tigers in front by six points. What's he done with that? That'll be a goal. So the Richmond uh, Marble back in front again by six points. 
Nine goals, 4.58 to North Melbourne, 8 4, 52. And Poole becoming the eighth Richmond player to score a goal. Manton has two, the rest are singles. And the big thing about this, we've seen what, uh, under these very heavy conditions, what 17 goals scored for the night. A fantastic effort by both these sides. And the standards we said before, we've said a couple of times, very high indeed. Richmond lead by six points as we approach the time on period of the second term. Six points in front, the Tigers. Knocked out that time by Clark. He and McCann are having a great battle. Over to Atkins it goes. There's Shimmerbush going for a long hand pass to Law. Law gets a kick. It's off the side of his boot. Punched away by Lovell for the Tigers. Going for the boundary line. And it's out of bounds on the centre wing position. Right in front of the member stand. Crowd round about the 20,000 mark. And not a bad crowd considering we had just a, a poor run up for the night too, Pete. Because it looked pretty miserable here. It did indeed up to about 4 o'clock. McCann and Clark. Knocked out by McCann. Going through that time was German. Couldn't get through the pack. Little series in the thick of things. Isn't he always? He certainly is. A little plumber by trade. He's in his fourth year of, uh, as a plumber. Apprenticeship. Uh, I think that's of interest to you, Pete. I know you're doing that a bit should, of plumbing work. Should be good for a bit of spouting. Should be. Comes out now. Fumble that time by uh, Craig Smith. He scooped it out, but the umpire will ball it up. Still on that centre wing position. Scores, uh, nine goals, four, 58 Richmond to uh, North Melbourne, eight, four, 52. Just over the 25 minute mark. Oh, missed that time by Spargo. Going through that time uh, was, uh, was Buckley, but the umpire said he had no hope of getting rid of that and he'll ball it up about 60 metres out from the North Melbourne goal. And they're trailing by six points in a real nip and tuck game tonight here. There's a hurried kick by uh, Fairley. Fairley's doing pretty well too, as I said before. Knocked down here, a chance for Palm to pick it up. He's oh. grabbed a bit high, got one right behind the ear that time, but the umpire didn't spot it. Fairley again with a hand pass to Spargo. A shot at goal, but he's off target. And it's through for one point. So it's five points the difference in favour of Richmond. Eight goals, 5.53 North Melbourne to Richmond. Nine goals, 4.58. Time on being played in the second quarter. Jimmy Jess goes to the member stand side. Very close to the boundary line. He's picked up inside the line and driven further forward by a hog for Richmond. Boundary throw in after Geary fumbled. 26 minutes into the term, 58 players, 53 in favour of Richmond. A five point advantage to the Tigers. It was 17 at quarter time. McCann in centre of screen. Ball knocked down to Ben Buckley. Well, got it to the back of Lovell, I thought, but Lovell ultimately gets his kick in, albeit a short one. Hand pass is not a bad one. Comes out in the direction now of Smith. Smith has kicked up to the half forward line. Good mark to Jones. And he's taken a couple of drippers in this quarter. He's right on the 50 metre line. Harrington standing on the mark. He's got like a kick of football too, Pete. Need to be a good kick under these conditions, though. Certainly would be. No, he did kick one before. It was a ripper. James from 55 metres out. And he's hooked this one. Free kick. Now if you played the mark to Norman Schimmelbush at the 50 metre defence line for North Melbourne. No Richmond player coming at him. Finally Waitman does, but Schimmelbush goes for the long kick round towards Spargo, who marks on left centre wing. Spargo played a good second quarter. Long kick to half forward, trying to find Crocker. The ball thumped away by Hogg, picked up by Eustace. Schimmelbush again, they're playing kick to kick. Waitman saying, What about me? Well, Schimmer's playing down there in defence tonight, particularly this quarter, Pete. Well, Waitman got decked, but nothing for that. Richmond supporters didn't like it. That's almost a mark to Strawn, I think. Strawn a little bit short of the right centre wing position, one of the veterans in the Richmond side. Good strong mark to McCann. I'd say he's on top of Clark. He's doing better around the ground than Clark. They're better even in the knockouts, Pete. Schimmelbush is kicked towards centre wing. Yeah, Schimmelbush has done more around the ground than Dinning. Finally coming back to some of his better form. Well, well, his best of seasons. Kept in play, is it by Crocker? No, says the boundary umpire. And the throw will take place at the 50 metre line. 28 minutes gone, second term. Well, Glenn Dinning's done a very good job. He's kept uh, Pickering very quiet tonight. I think Pickering's only had about uh, three or four touches so far. Two kicks and uh, four handballs. So that's not a bad effort. We see uh, Bauer trying to get clear. It's finally picked up by a near at half back. Goes for a pass around towards the half forward line. Coming out that time was James. Missed it, picked up by Geary. A hurried kick back. Well intercepted now by Schimmel. Was doing a great job yep. down there in defence in the second quarter. 
At the back is Lovell. Good defensive play. Down goes Norman. Going through now is a chance for Eusis to break clear and send the Tigers into attack. A perfect pass to Waitman. He goes wide. It'll be grabbed here now by Poole. A dangerous player. A long shot of goal. But it won't come around enough. It's one point. The Tigers having a pot shot. That fella's playing a tremendous game tonight, Poole. He's just about best on the ground, isn't he? Certainly is. 29 minutes gone. And the... Uh, Tiger, Tigers in front by six points as the Sarna win the uh, second quarter. At half time, we see Richmond nine goals, 5.59. For North Melbourne, eight goals, 5.53. You want to be a real footballer? I've been a real footballer. You've got to look like a real footballer. You've got to go for the mark. The VFL mark. Go for the mark. Go, go for the mark. Go. go for the VFL mark at leading stores. Real footy gear, real footy accessories, real footy supporters gear too, in all club colours and badges. Go for the mark. Go for the mark. Go for the mark. Go for the VFL mark at leading stores. Third quarter from the MCG, umpire Eden Clayton to bounce the ball. Richmond leading by six points after they met at quarter time by 17. One by McCann, goes for the second punch. Still can't get it away from Bauer. Waitman gets the hand pass out. Good tackle by Hickey. Ball out to the edge of the square, finally picked up by McCann. Lovell's tackle a little bit too late. Two North Melbourne players out on centre wing position. Finally picked up by Dimitriou. His kick down towards half forward. Might be a free kick to North Melbourne. And Norman about 55 metres out from goal. He's gone for a pass. Not a particularly good one, trying to find Harrington down there. Good tackle by Crockett. And he's given a free kick. He's going Richmond's way. And it will be taken down there for the Tigers. By uh, Hogg. Back to centre wing position, picked up by Pickering. Kick smothered off the boot. Ball thumped further forward, picked up by Anir near on centre wing position very close to the boundary line and at that location we will have a boundary throw in at the minute and a quarter mark of the third term no addition to the half time score 9-5 to 8-5 in favour of the Tigers McCann on the right knocked down to German right, will be got one in the back Waitman takes the hand pass good tackle by Schimmelbush down goes Atkins and the umpire has decided on, on uh, another bounce still on the centre wing position been an excellent game of football so far both sides handling the wet and greasy conditions very well knocked down by Clark holding the ball or a high tackle it's a Richmond free kick rolling he came out of the second quarter and did fairly well Glenn Diddy knocks the ball into the open spaces picked up by Anir looks for the hand pass to Bauer this guy's got a bad kick either. He's gone long. It looks good. It's a score anyway, but only one point. And that puts the Tigers ahead by seven points just past the two-minute mark of the term. Seven points, the difference in favour of Richmond. As Pete said before, a very high standard game considering the conditions and a very high scoring game. 17 goals kicked so far. At the back is Hickey. Couldn't hold the mark. Grabbed that time by Atkins. Out it comes now, and the ball driven down there by Larkins, and a good mark taken here by uh, Waitman. Off the side of a boot. Not a good kick, a bad kick by Waitman. Good play on the part of uh, Strawn. Got the ball long down towards uh, Pickering. Got one hand to it. A fumble by Rowlings. Twists and dodges. Kicks it towards the goals. That was Pearl, I think it might have been. Finally, it's cleared away by Harrington. The ball back towards centre-half uh, back. A mark dropped by German. Going after him is Rowley. Upended him. German tries to get the ball, and he finally does to Atkins, who's clear, goes for a pass. Well intercepted that time by Palm. A quick-hand pass coming over to Waitman. Richmond got their running game going. This is Rowley's now out there on the wing position. Goes straight down the ground, over centre-half forward. Coming out as Mant and McCann. They both hit the deck. There's a big pile of mud flying everywhere there. And the umpire will ball it up about 50 metres out from the uh, Richmond goal. They're in front by seven points. 60 plays, 53. Three and a half minutes gone of this third quarter. Knocked out by McCann. Grabbed by Waitman again. A long shot at goal. Pickering's got it. 
Well, in front of uh, Glendinning, he's had a pretty close watch on him all night. He's been well handled by Glendinning. Three kicks, four marks and four handballs to Pickering. Well, he's had seven possessions and uh, he's a player that when he does break loose, he can win a game. He played such a wonderful game when we saw him play up out there against uh, si the Sydney Swans. He uh, won the game for uh, Richmond, actually. He's only about 15 metres out on a very slight angle. Oh. But that's a shocking kick. He actually slipped when he went to kick that one and through for one point. And that puts the Tigers in front by eight points. Nine goals, 761 to North Melbourne, 8553 as we approach the four and a half minute mark of the second quarter. Well, Pickering either slipped or he tried to steer the ball through. The end result was not a good kick. Ackerley wearing the black armband for Jock Bartlett, the former Swans trainer, who died earlier in the week. Ackerley, of course, is former Swans player. We saw this, a similar thing happen on Tuesday night. Rioli started to come into his own a little bit in the second quarter Rioli now the chance for Poole who's been Richmond's best player in my book Poole stick up towards the full forward position Glendinning couldn't take the mark tries to get clear his kick is out of Borchie that's close I'll leave oh, it to the I reckon that was over the line Peter I'm not <laughs> kidding I reckon it was over the line well I was going to say that Lou but it was so close I had to wait until he put up his hand one way or the other McCann Hand pass comes out now from Bartlett. Uh, from uh, the Larkin, I should say. Picked up by German. German and Bow on centre wing doing battle. The result of all that is going to be a bounce. 9-7 to 8-5. 53 plays 61 in favour of Richmond. Tigers getting off to a magnificent start when they booted 7-1 in the first quarter. In the very muddy conditions down by Clark but it's picked up by German his kick is well smothered again no one making much headway once again it's going to be a ball up on centre wing five and three quarter minutes gone in the third term play at the moment Pete not as good a stand as it was in the first half of the match the deteriorated defender. a little bit defenders well on top so far in this quarter McCann and Clark line ball that one but it's picked up by Waitman Waitman's kick up towards half forward just about would have paid the mark to Ackerley I think in fact, the umpire has done. Ackerley from left half-back flank goes for the short pass. Schimmelbush takes the grab. Gets around Rioli from the point of the square. Goes long to half-forward for North Melbourne. Knocked away by Strawn. A well, chance there for Norman. Picked up by Spargo. Tackled by Jess. Was it in the back? Holding the ball. Certainly didn't have much chance there to get rid of it. And the free kick going Richmond's way to be taken by their acting captain tonight, Jimmy Jess. And he's assisted by a 15-metre penalty. He's gone out wide. Larkin at the back. Knocks the ball down away from Bauer. Opportunity for Anir to pick the ball up. And he'll put Richmond back into attack again. Drives it over the half ball. A chance for Poole. He's grabbed that. Got away from his opponent. Beautiful play. Got away from Hickey from the 50-metre line. He has a shot. Looking there for James. He's got it. No, he hasn't got it. He couldn't grab that. He fumbled it. Harrington's having trouble doing likewise. It's finally picked up by Law. He's grabbed but still gets the kick. Not a good one. It comes out towards the wing position. There's a chance now for the ball to be picked up by Clark. Oh, he balked. He went straight into Ackley. But Eustace was there, but the kick is a bad one. Picked up in now by Norman. Over to Demetrio. Short pass and a good one. And marked here by Jonas. About 60 metres out from goal. A pass. And that's a rip of a pass. And a beautiful mark taken there by Crocker. He's taken three or four great marks tonight. But a very safe pair of hands. What's that to pass? And the mark... Right on his back that time was Hogg. Crocker with a bit of a limp. Four marks and four kicks to Darren Crocker. And a dangerous player down there on the full forward position. Only kicked one goal, but they've got a target to kick to. Now, he'd be about 30 metres out, about a 45 degree angle. Let's see what he can do with the kick. There it is. And that's a pretty good kick. It's a goal. So, we see the difference now. Not much in it, only uh, two points. Nine goals, 5.59 North Melbourne to Richmond, 9.761. Two goals to Crocker, two goals to Jonas. The leading goal kickers for North Melbourne, as we see that in replay. And for the Kangaroos, singles to Fairley, Arsiri, Dimitriou, Spargo and Buckley. Strong grab, the fourth mark taken by Darren Crocker. And as I said, it resulted in his second goal, making the difference once again at the MCG, two points. Eight and a half minutes gone, the Tigers in front by two points. Neither side can get the break. 
Knocked out by Clark. Ian McCann having a great battle. Pickering finally gets it over to Clark. He drives it up towards the full forward position. Good play on the part of Law. Sends it back out towards the wing position. A strong mark to Bauer. Shrugs his opponent off that time, Norman. Goes for a pass. It's all right. It's marked here by Matt. <laughs> he was nearly off, wasn't now, he? We, we're talking about Crocker doing well on the forward line. This fellow hasn't done a bad job either down there at full forward, Matt. He's had, what, five marks? He's kicked uh, two, two goals. Two goals, Lou, yep. Could have easily kicked another one. He's only about uh, 35 metres out now. Let's see what he can do with this kick. It'll put the Tigers eight points in front of his successful. Oh, he's off target. It won't even make the distance. The pack fly. It's up the top of the pack. And it was finally forced through by Poole that time. A real goal tonight. And we see uh, Richmond nine goals, 8.62 to North Melbourne, 9.559. Well, Richmond have led most of the night so far, but North Melbourne just getting their act together. Atkins, was that a mark? Was he caught? Was he off? Let's wait on the umpire for that run. He still has possession and gets a 15-metre penalty. Which brings him up just short of the half-back line. At the back is Manton. Glenn Dinning in front takes the mark. Playing a lot better than I, Glenn Dinning. He's had Pickering pretty well covered, Pete. Yes, he's done a good job on him. And as you mentioned, Pickering, a very dangerous player, was Richmond's match winner in Sydney, Jimmy Jess. Rollings. Didn't gain much from that. Although position retained, rolling from half back straight down the ground. Short pass, that's effective. And a good mark taken for Richmond by Poole. Out wide towards the right half forward flank. And another mark taken down there by Pickering. Pickering 50 metres out. Short pass into the pocket. Oh, on his own down there for the Tigers is Craig Smith. Shot at goal is off target and one point. So that's a real sit and missed. And one point makes the difference now. Four points in favour of the Tigers. 9-9 nine, nine to 9-5. Nine, Ten and three quarter minutes into the term. Well, Richmond are wasting plenty of they chances are. because they've had the ball on their forward line most of this uh, first ten minutes of uh, the third quarter, Pete. Ackerley, good long kick to the outer side. In fact, well past the 50-metre line. Chance for Bauer. He hasn't played a bad game tonight either. Picked up by Eustace. His kick back to the 50-metre line. That's Manton again taking the mark in front of Law. The North Melbourne players standing look at each other. Hickey takes a good mark, though. Decides to play on. And there must have been a like the style of that fellow. Our Syrian Spargo for North Melbourne get there first with the ball out of bounds. And it's a boundary throw in on centre wing. Manton's pass just before. Not quite good enough because the North Melbourne defence was in disarray, but Hickey took a very good grab. Clark and McCann. Well, they both had a swing of that and missed... He comes out to Arsiri from Dimitriou. Underneath it is Hickey again over the top is Poole. Arsiri once more. Tries to get clear of Lovell. Scoop back to McCann and turn on to Ben Buckley. Buckley from half forward. Dimitriou still a long way out from goal. Sticks out the hand pass. It looks pretty good for Larkin. Larkin 50 metres out. Shoots a long shot going close. Off target. One point. Three points the difference now at the MCG. 60 plays 63. Both teams off target in this quarter. We've only seen one goal scored. Ball back into play, in the back against Schimmelbush perhaps, free kick to Barry Rollings, two of the veterans of the VFL, Rollings the oldest player on the field, Glenn Dinning, got two hands to it, couldn't complete the mark in front of Waitman, good opposition from Rioli as well, scooped that by Dimitriou, charge for Norman, Norman's kick is a short one up to the 50 metre mark and the ball cleared away by Strawn. A chance for McCann to mark. Well punched out by uh, Pickering that time as it comes back in out of Glenn Dinning out there at half back. He just put a short pass in there to a series on the wing. Boots the ball across towards centre half forward. A strong mark taken by Strawn again. Showing a lot of dash for an old timer. Kicks the ball across to centre half forward. Manton comes in. A hand pass comes back to Geary. A short pass to a near. He's got a chance to score from about 30 metres out. Oh, oh shocking kick. Took that too easy. He could have run another he, 10 metres. And it's out of bounds on the full. So Richmond wasting a lot of opportunities in this third quarter. They're in front by three points. 60 plays, 63. Ball pushed out by Clark. Picked up again by James. Back it goes now to Jess down there on the forward line. Fairly uh, pumped that one. Ball scooped out again. I noticed that uh, they've got Fairly playing down there at centre-half back. Was that Fairly? No, it might have been Larkin. Just have to pick that up. Yeah, Fairley's down there. 
looking a bit sore too, I must admit. And I think Jess has got the job of going all over the ground. That's where there's a go by Eustace. A quick shot at goal. It won't turn around and up and it's through for one point. So it's four points the difference. A real nip and tuck job tonight. 60 plays, 64 in favour of the Tigers. Who have scored five points this quarter, Luke. Ball back into play again. Just on the 14 minutes mark of the third quarter. Punched out by Bauer. Down goes Jonas, got one on the back that time from uh, Eustace, and he'll take a free kick at half-back. A few ironical chairs from the North Melbourne supporters in front of our commentary box, but I think the umpires are doing a pretty good job considering the conditions. Well, they all got under that, picked up by Bauer again. He was grabbed when he didn't have the ball that time by Norman. So Bauer, interchange there. We see coming off the ground as Jonas and coming on as McDonald for the first time, but he won't look as clean as that very long. I'm sure of that. In front is uh, Glenn Dinning, and the umpire's paying that mark. And this is the best game that North Melbourne's seen Glenn Dinning play for quite some time. Not only the amount of uh, kicks and uh, hand passes, he's had, he's had a big job of covering Pickering. He's had him pretty well covered for most of the night. Ball falls short. Pack fly in goes uh, Norman again. On top of him that time was Bow, and the umpire will ball it up, up towards Richmond's half four, then about 75 metres out from their goal. And they're in front by four points. 60 plays, 64. Both sides scoring freely in the first half, but it's slowed down since then. And the, uh, the kick coming out now to McDonald, just coming on the ground of Demetrio. Short pass. It'll be grabbed by Atkins about 60 metres out from goal. A hand pass back to Demetrio. Short pass. And the ball is marked by Spargo. This could be the first goal for North Melbourne. It is for the quarter. Two goals to Spargo. And North Melbourne go to 10 goals, 666, hitting the front with uh, Richmond 9, 10, 64. 15 and a half minutes gone of the third quarter. Well, Spargo's second goal put North Melbourne in uh, front. Demetriou, good pass. Spargo on the run from the pocket, gets clear of Lovell, and from 15 metres out makes no mistake. So he joins Crocker and Jonas as the leading goal kickers for the Kangaroos so far. 15 players have scored the 19 goals scored so far. 16 minutes into the third quarter, Ania puts Richmond into attack. Can the Tigers come back again? They've led most of the night. Ackerley. Long ball to the outer side. Geary getting underneath it, but it eludes him and also our Siri. And the boundary throw will take place in the practice wicket area. And that area, as well as the centre square, the worst affected areas of the MCG tonight. But by and large, the ground in much better condition than I expected. McCann and Clark. Knock on by Dimitriou. Spargo on centre wing fumbles. The ball out of bounds again. Just at North Melbourne's attacking area. And once again, boundary throw will take place. 66 to 64 in favour of North Melbourne. Richmond this quarter have kicked five points. North Melbourne have kicked two goals. In fact, two goals won. Soccer tactics from Anir. He'll try the same again, will he? No. Tries to pick it up in front of Larkin. Gets scragged. The umpire says no free kick to Arsiri either. In goes German and Eustace pretty solidly. Eustace again. Shepherd's well. Finally picked up by Geary. Geary's kick is a short one down towards the 50-metre defence line. Fumbled. Ackerley doesn't fumble. He never does. Long kick by the former Swans player out towards the left centre wing for North Melbourne. And coming out to meet the ball is Atkins. Looks for a hand pass, finally gets the kick in, as Lovell tackles him effectively. Smith Orr gets met very solidly by Dimitriou, arguably too high. I reckon that was a fair bump, Pete. I said arguably, Lou, the umpire didn't think so, though. Let's he watch it again. That's a fair bump, and my, well, he may have said it was in the back, but I doubt it. Well, it was one of those line ball decisions, the mark taken by Waitman for Richmond, 55 metres out from goal. Waitman's gone for a hand pass. Eustace has already kicked one, can he make it another one? Not with that kick. That's out of bounds. Richmond's attack this quarter has been woeful. They've kicked five points only from a lot of scoring shots. Larkin takes the mark at half-back, half-back flank. Goes for the hand pass. Ball picked up by Buckley. Kicked out towards the centre wing position, but it's not well directed. And the kick for Richmond is taken by Big Clark. Clark goes for the hand pass onto Manton. He looked good at full forward earlier. Strawn. Strawn onto Waitman. 
past Donald McDonald and also Schimmelbush up towards full forward. Rioli is the only one there. Plenty of North Melbourne players. Harrington goes for the hand pass to our Siri and the Kangaroos get clear. Good play by the North Melbourne defence out to German and Anir having a great battle there. It's Anir in the front posse. German right on his tail but Anir gets away from shows a lot of pace the X magpie Learned that at Victoria Park as it's picked up now by Bauer. Bowers kick is a short one and Eustace has got it about 60 metres out from goal. But Richmond have been into attack for most of this uh, quarter, but their kicking has been woeful at goal. There's a short pass and the ball marked by Waitman. He'd be about 40 metres out. Short pass again. It'll be OK and the ball is marked by Poole. Well, actually, I don't think he's any closer than, uh, than Waitman and the angle would be more acute. 15 kicks, 6 marks and 3 handballs. Well, for just about the best player on the ground so far. Particularly that first quarter, he's, well, he's been in it all day, or all night. Waiting on Pool. Put the Tigers back in front. They're trailing by two points. He could easily kick a goal here, and they badly need one. There's the kick. But that won't come around enough. It's through for another point. So, still another opportunity wasted by, North, uh, by Richmond. 66 plays 65 in favour of uh, North Melbourne. As we approach the 20-minute mark of the third quarter. Six points they've kicked this quarter. Without scoring a goal, there's another chance for him to go back into attack as we see Poole take the ball again. He's gone for a pass to Manton. He's got to grab this. It was too long for him coming in. Oh, go with the line. It was, was nodding. You can pick the new players coming onto the <laughs> ground, Pete. Uh, they look like uh, new pins, don't they? Not for very long. 66 plays, 65. A point the difference. It's been a great entertaining game tonight. Nodding again. Goes through the pack. Out to Rioli, a hurried kick towards the goals. Punched out by uh, Buckley, grabbed it right on the line. He's gone for a hand pass, but the ball is out of bounds. About 30 metres around from the Richmond goal. So they've still got a chance to score here. And they're trailing by a point. This won't be a long quarter because there hasn't been many goals kicked for the quarter. Richmond haven't scored one yet. Picked up by a series. Clark dropped that mark. Grabbed by, there'll be a free kick, it'll go to Clark, I think, for interference, it wasn't paid, the mark wasn't paid. So Clark with the ball out there, oh, shocking oh. kick off the side of his boot. Coming at the top of the pack was Poole, he's grabbed, gets a hand pass back to Eustace, umpire giving plenty of latitude, and so he should. Coming in to meet it now as little uh, Waitman has a long shot at goal, but he won't make the distance. And it's forced through for one point. Seven and points they've kicked this quarter. Without scoring a goal, the Tigers scores dead level, 66 apiece. 21 minutes gone of the third quarter. And this crowd here tonight getting a real treat as far as football's concerned. Short pass, a series down there in the back pocket, drives it wide towards the wing. German and a near. German's got it, he'll pay that mark on the centre wing position to German. So Peter German. Put North Melbourne into attack again. A little bit short of the wing position, actually. Jess playing in front. Richmond's acting captain. He'll go for the long kick as usual. That's a ripper. In front is Glenn Didding. Over the back is Law. Backing up well. Law's kick is a short one, though. Back towards the 50-metre line. The mark, though, taken by Arsiri. Richmond looking better, but can't capitalise on the amount of times they've gone into attack, Pete. And it's a lot this quarter. Ackerley. At the centre wing. Knocked off with Spargo. Now it comes to Bauer now. Back to uh, Eustace. In turn to Rollings. Rollings up to Rioli in the very muddy centre of the MCG. Chance for Richmond now to go deep into attack. Driven up by uh, Geary. Right forward pocket. Out of bounds. It's around about the 50 metre mark. Up towards the half back line. 35 for Richmond is Pickering. Glenn Dinnings had the job of shadowing him tonight and as Lou mentioned has done a pretty good job. McCann and Manton, Poole, Rioli, Waitman, out to Dean Notting, cleanest man on the ground. He wouldn't want to be clean too long though. Picked up by Glenn Dinning, going back to some of the old form and that's good news for North Melbourne. Glenn Dinning's long clearing kick sees the ball up towards Spargo on centre wing. Spargo getting clear. Booting North Melbourne, deep into attack, up towards their half-forward line, missed by Lovell. Backing him up well, though, is Jimmy Jess. Gets the hand pass out. Take it away by, that was uh, Hogg. Uh, Hog. And turn back towards uh, Eustace at centre field. Pickering. Breaks one tackle, long hand pass, up towards uh, Geary. Geary has a shot at goal from 40 metres out. That's good, that's their first for the quarter. 
It took them 23 and a quarter minutes to get it. And finally, Richmond, 10-12, 72, lead north, 10-6, 66. That all started from the uh, centre-half back position from uh, Jimmy Jess when he got the hand pass moving. Averett goes to Pickering, shrugged his opponent up nicely. A beautiful uh, hand pass, a long one over there to Geary. That was a fine goal. Geary's second goal, joining Mantum as the Tigers' leading goal kicker tonight. And a very valuable one indeed because as Lou mentioned they have been to attack for probably 70% of this third term. And that's their first goal for the quarter, Pete. It is. Took them a long time to get it. Free kick from the centre square going Richmond's way. So that was bad from North Melbourne. Rowlings has the ball. He'll put Richmond deep into attack. The pass is on. The mark is taken by Anea. Still in the centre square though. Approaching the time on period. Down towards Notting. Oh, I reckon he pushed back. Harrington, oh, fair square at the back then that time. I'm not kidding, Pete. Must agree. Must agree. Here it is again. Watch it. There it is. Right there. Just enough to put him off balance. And, of course, Harrington not too happy with the decision. Notting directly in front. Well, can they bring another one up in the space of about 90 seconds? Looks good from here. A goal. A valuable one for Richmond. The Tigers by two goals. Notting's first. Seventh big league shows Richmond 11-12, North 10-6. Well, they were due to break the drought because they'd been, as Pete said, into attack for about 70% of this uh, third quarter. And we watch in here. We watch that again. Over it goes now to Notting. You'll see him give him a slight uh, nudge, put his hand in the middle of his back. Not that much to, though, Luke. Yeah, but it's enough to put him up balance, Pete. And also, it is a free kick. It might be a light one, but it is. Nine Richmond players have now scored goals. That was Notting's first, the Tigers' second for the quarter. Just over the 25-minute mark, they go back into attack through Rollings. The Tigers are running hot as they go now for uh, Notting. He goes in Ooh. again, could try to slip that one off. It comes out to Notting again. A hurried shot, it's going towards the goal. He's got two, and they're 18 points in front. Oh, Notting's going to be the hero. Two goals in a minute, a minute and a half. 12 goals, 12, 84, Richmond and North Melbourne, 10-6, 66. And Richmond have kicked three in two minutes after having been held goalless for 23 and a quarter minutes in this term. Well, he was a bit lucky to pick that one up. He had a punch shot off the ground and only uh, kicked about three North Melbournes up the players up into the grandstand, but he finally got it out and got a hurried goal, even though he was grabbed. Two goals to Notting. Of course, we're back in the centre now, 26 minutes gone. Richmond in front by 18 points. They've got away to a valuable lead. It's just about the best lead of the night, I would say. Ball knocked out by uh, McCann. Atkins couldn't get it away. Finally pushed down towards centre-half forward. Coming out to meet it now is Crocker. He's pounced on by the Richmond defence. And the umpire will ball it up. That was Eustace at the bottom there, wasn't it? No, I don't think it is. It's Clark. Clark. I think it it's Clark. Been He's a bit bigger than Eustace. That's his money. And ball up round about the centre half forward position for North Melbourne. They badly need a goal. Coming off the ground now was uh, Harrington. Back onto the ground as pass ball. Ball tapped on now to Schimmelbush. A hurried kick back to Crocker. Punched it on. Rowling's backing up well. Fumble the ball. He ran into a brick wall. Got a hand pass back to Palm. That's real soccer style that time. He kicked it in midair. Grackley grabbed. Lost the ball. Goes after. They pounce on top of him. The umpire will ball it up. Out there to watch the centre wing position on the outer side of the ground. 26, nearly 27 minutes gone. It's 12 goals, 12, 84. Richmond and North Melbourne, 10-6, 66. And this has been a tough game tonight. Tigers playing a lot better in this third quarter, but it took them a while to get going. Kicked seven behind before they kicked their first goal. Picked up by uh, Eustace. A hand pass coming out with a pool. Oh, balked away beautifully, McDonald. That's great play. He's their best player. A magnificent pass grabbed by Anir. And Anir's on the centre wing position. He'll go across to centre half forward now. But at the back is Matt. Knocked it away. Goes after it again. And for a big fella, picked it up pretty well over the, to Waitman. Down it goes deep. Has a chance now for Geary to mark it. And he's only about 15 metres out. Now the Tigers running hot now. Geary's already kicked one goal. Two goals, I should say. Kick two goals, Geary, going for goal number three. And, of course, this will put them in front by 24 points. And, of course, they've really bounced back after kicking so badly in this third quarter. The last five minutes have been crucial, haven't they? There's the kick. That's one point. Well, they may have caught the disease again because he should never have missed that. 19 points, 12 goals, 13, 85. Richmond, Kennedy on the phone, and so he should be. For North Melbourne, 10 6 68, and it's been Richmond all the way in this third quarter. Actually, they should be a lot further in front 
They've had at least 70% of the play, and there's a good mark taken in defence that time by Law. He's about uh, on the half-back line. There's the Sarah to win the third quarter, and Rittman in a pretty handy con uh, position consi considering the conditions. 12-13-85 for North Melbourne, 10 goals, 6 66 Seven's big league from the MCG. Richmond lead by 19 points after they kicked 3-8 to 2-1 in the third quarter. And most of those goals came in the time on period. Socket away up towards Rioli and in fact passed him. Picked up by Hickey. Good block by Pickering. Shimmerbush's kick is a short one back towards centre field. Knocked into the arms of Waitman. Waitman gets cleared, looks for and finds Anir. Anir out towards the right half forward flank. Poole, best man on the ground, takes the mark in front of Ackerley. Poole was short pass. Not a good one though. And Hickey chipping in. He's played a very constructive game and very rugged game again for North. At the centre wing, Strawn goes to spoil from behind, taken by Bauer. Oh, he He's offloaded, got one right in the gob from Norman then. It was an accident. And a boundary throw in on centre wing. Well, that's Norman Strawn, he's sticking to it too, I should imagine. I would. 19 points in. Or 19 points the difference. One minute into the, the uh, final term. All knocked down by Clark by calling play on they can't do that for very long and it will be a bounce on center wing it's been a very good game very entertaining match despite the wet and greasy conditions that sides have handled them very well especially richmond in that first quarter when they kicked seven goals splendid effort indeed waitman's hand passes and long one up to a near up to rollings who's done well since he came on 50 meters from goal long shot by the former hawk and tiger veteran through for one point yes so 20 points now, the difference in favour of Richmond. One and a half minutes into the final term. 66 plays, 86. Well, they certainly deserve to be in front, Pete, because in that third quarter they had, what, at least 70% of the play and uh, they were pot-shotting at the goals all the time. Oh, there's a bad pass. Notting will take it, though. And he made the difference when he came on, Lou, didn't he? Well, he kicked two quick goals. He, he changed the, uh, the uh, style of play because they couldn't kick a goal. He kicked two pretty quickly for them, Pete, and that seemed to lift them. But they did that, what, seven shots before they scored their goals. I think the ball only went down to the North Melbourne forward on about four or five times. And they kicked a couple out of bounds as well. Remember that? That kick from Notting. Anthony knocks it away. That was almost a mark, too. Umpire Clayton says, no, throw it in. And Bill was saying to the umpire, yeah. what have I got to do to get a mark? I don't think it was a mark. He didn't hold it quite long enough. Knocked down by McDonald, tries to get it away from Manton, couldn't do so. Ackerley fumbles, Pickering's right there with him, it's out of bounds. And we'll see a boundary throw in on the other side of the goal. Two and a half minutes gone to the last quarter, and the Tigers looking good. 86 plays, 66, a lead of 20 points, and they're attacking now. It's right against their point post. So the pressure really on North Melbourne. They can't afford the Tigers to get a goal here. Knocked out by Manton, there's a chance for Ackley, went without the ball. Picked up by Laura, he and Ackley were having an argument over that. This gave the Tigers to stop them in their tracks. And it's still only about 15 metres out from their goal. There's not much coordination down there between the defence. They've had uh, some good players here tonight. Pearl's been a superb player and the corroboration between uh, Anir and Waitman has been superb. There's Fairley getting a hurried kick. Pushed out by Noddy. There's a go now. Oh, there's nearly a free kick going out there, I would say, but the umpire said no. Gee, I thought that was a free a free kick to Rollings who's played pretty well since coming on the ground the old veteran no one seems to know what age he is he's been around a long time 10 kicks and three handballs for Barry well he didn't come on till uh, midway through the third quarter of the ball oh there's a free kick it'll be a free kick it'll go to Waitman who's played a fine game here tonight as I said before the, the cooperation between he, he and Ani has been superb here tonight 22 possessions to Dale Wakeman, 13 kicks and 9 handballs as we watch that free kick in replay. Well, he's got a chance to score a goal. He's only about uh, 20 metres out on a bit of an angle. Lines them up, fires. But they're off target again, the Tigers. That's how they started the third quarter. And they kicked seven behind before they scored their first goal. But that still puts them 21 points in front. Not a bad lead under these conditions. A short kick there by Ackley. Into the quarter by just on four and a half minutes. This is the last quarter. And North Melbourne badly needing a goal. As Ackley gets it around to Demetrio. Off the top of the pack. Good play on the part of Craig Smith. Scaling out beautifully. A hand pass. 
coming here now. Picked up by Anir again, able to Riol. He's been a pretty quiet player. That's a beautiful hand pass to Eustace. This could be a goal now. But once again, now it's marked right on the line by Harrington. This saves it in time. So approaching the five-minute mark, it's 12 goals, 15-87. Richmond and North Melbourne, 10-6-66. Harrington's kick is a long one. It rebounds, or I was going to say, into the arms of Rioli, but he fumbled. Picked up by Eustace. Eustace has a snapshot. Underneath it is Law. Still in play. Rollings. Can't get it into the open spaces. Geary's there as well. It's going to be a ball up right on the edge of the square. So a real chance for the Tigers to press home and consolidate their position. Just past the five-minute mark of the final quarter. Well, Waitman tried to burrow his way through. Could have been tackled too high, holding the ball, though. That was a good decision, Pete. Yes, put his head down, really, I guess. And the free kick will go to John Law. Brings it round the member stand side. In front is Glenn Didding, knocked down by Strawn. Rioli, tackled by McDonald. Tackled by Harrington was a good one. Dispossessed his opponent pretty quickly. Notting goes for the hand pass. Can't effectively get it out. And the umpire will bounce it about 35 metres from goal. Richmond playing uh, the more desperate football, Pete. Yes, much more vigorous than North Melbourne. They have much more system. 87 plays 66, six minutes gone. Knocked away by Manton. German, he's been a fairly quiet player tonight. Demetriou in front. Can't gain possession, though. Eustace. Back it goes to Rollings, who's playing a great game. Has a snapshot at goal. Great goal from the Tiger veteran. And he's pretty happy about that. That might even make the game safe for Richmond. 13-15 to 10-6. Well, he's certainly played well uh, since coming on in about halfway through that second quarter. He's been in the thick of things, and it's been the Richmond little man that's dominated the game since the half-time uh, interval. Pete, that's a great goal kicked uh, by Barry Rowlands. A beautiful piece of play. A natural left foot, and it went right through the middle. Ten Richmond players have now scored goals. That was Barry Rowlands first. From the MCG, Sevens Big League, we approach the seven-minute mark now of the final quarter. The Tigers 13-15, North Melbourne 10-6. 27 points the difference. They go back into attack through a near, playing a great game. There he is, Phil, the man of the moment, or the man of the match. And he's got a chance to put him 33 points in front. 20 kicks and three handballs to Trevor Poole. Well, he's also played a vigorous game. It's not only the, uh, the statistics that count there, it's the way he's gone after it, Pete. He's tapped the ball on, he's been in the thick of things right throughout the evening. Going for goal number two. But he's not on target and it's through for one point. So it's 34 points. Now it's 28 points the difference. 66 plays, 94. And we're approaching the eight minute mark of the last quarter. So North Melbourne in plenty of trouble. This could be their last chance to make the five and it's picked up by Waitman, another top player. A long hand pass over to Mant. He balks, he tried to give it a nodding, then he tapped it on, goes through again. That's strong play by uh, Manton, picked up by James. They collar him, in goes nodding again. It comes out now to Eustace, showing a lot of pace. He's got the ball on the boundary line, hooks it back. Nodding gets it, he just as he got the mark, the umpire called play on. And uh, they're closer than we are, the crowd going crook about that. But I, I think the umpire's done a good job here tonight, Pete. Well, the umpires have been inconspicuous, and when they are such, Lou, I always think they've done a good job. Knocked on again, picked up that time by uh, Richmond as it goes right across the face of goals. Geary got under that one, coming out to meet it now as Pearl, but the ball is out of bounds. They look pretty tired, Richmond. I think North looked tighter. Uh, North Melbourne, I should say. 66 plays, 94. Eight and a half minutes gone of the last quarter. North Melbourne have to get a goal pretty quickly to get themselves going again. Demetrio, a bad hand pass to him. He copped one a bit high. Down goes... Uh, Geary, still playing on his law, can't get clear, but gets a kick back. And Glenn Dinning takes a good mark there at half-back. A quick hand pass over to Demetrio again at half-back. Ackley, I should say. Yeah, Ackley it was. Oh, good play by Jess. And a hand pass coming over now to Palm. They're playing with a lot of confidence, Richmond, over the top of the pack. It's grabbed by Notting. A hand pass coming out to Pickering. It bounces all right. A short kick, not a good one. Oh, there we see Buckley upended that time by Pooley. Certainly a terrier comes out again. 
Rollings over it goes now to uh, Waitman, but he's up target. And thank heaven for that, the North Melbourne supporters say, because they're really bombarding the goals now. Richmond, 10 goals, 666 North Melbourne to Richmond, 13, 795. 29 17. points the difference, 66 to 95. And if North Melbourne are going to pull this game out of the fire, they've got to start doing something pretty quickly. Richmond, if they can win here tonight, will keep their finals chances alive. Perhaps their fate, but at least they'll still be in with a chance. That's a good mark for Waitman. He's played a bad game tonight, Luke. Oh, he's played a ripper game, Pete. He and O'Neill and Poole have been... And Eustace, the, the little men have dominated the game. And not forgetting uh, Rowling's coming on the ground about halfway through the second quarter, too. And I think Rowling's has made one of the uh, big differences of the night. Waitman's kick. Geary behind Demetriou. He's given a free kick to Geary. Yeah, interference, Pete. Well, that was an interesting one. Well, as we often say, and it's not a cop-out, the umpires are closer than we are. And Geary hasn't played a bad game either. He's kept it off with a couple of nice goals. Manton has two and Notting two, the other major goal kickers for Richmond. Ten Tiger players have kicked goals. Geary comes in for number three and he's got it. The Tigers are just about home. Scoreboard, Sevens Big League from the MCG says Richmond, 14-17, 101, North, 10-6-66. Well, that's a good lead now under these conditions. Kennedy not looking too happy, and I don't blame him either because North Melbourne have fallen in a heap since half-time. The Tigers have had about 80% uh, of the play since that... Uh, second half of the game well they have because north came back well in the second quarter they reduced the deficit from 17 to 6 but richmond kicked away again in the third term after some good play from about the 23 minute mark on when they kicked three goals very quickly 101 plays 66 that was geary's third goal 11 and a half minutes now into the final quarter richmond looks set to come back after their annihilation last week from hawthorne remember they got beaten by 101 points Rioli goes down. Ball picked up for North Melbourne and shot forward by Spargo. Down goes Schimmelbush. He got one in the back, surely. And he'll take the free kick at half forward for the Kangaroos. Well, he's 50 metres out from goal. And they badly need one. There's the kick by Schimmelbush into the goal square. It's not a good kick and it's marked there in defence. Now that's marked by Hogg. So once the forwards get going and the small men, the back men have got their confidence back again. Ball tapped down by McCann. He was grabbed, picked up by Demetrio over to Spargo. It's too long. A Siri comes in, fumbles the ball. He's got uh, a chance to get it back, but it's a bad hand pass. It goes to Palm. A short pass to Rioli at centre field. Balks. Goes back to the half back line. Goes for a short pass. And what a ripper it is. Over to Waitman. Another hand pass to Anir. It's too long, but he's got time to get rid of it. Looking for Waitman again. A beautiful bit of play, they've uh, worked well together all night. Waitman at 50 metres will run to an open goal. He lets play, could get this one, he deserves it. Good play and a goal. Excellent play by Waitman, confidence plus to bounce it on this surface tonight. Well, he bounced it nice and slowly, Pete. 15, 17, 107, the Tigers looking a million dollars to North Melbourne. 10 goals, 666. And of course, that was great play. You watch uh, Anir, he spotted him beautifully. It bounced correctly and now he goes for a bit of a trot watch how he throws it down very definite on the ground straightens up and fires and a goal so the Tigers looking really hot they got a snail back again at last two goals to Dale, Dale Waitman now 13 and a half minutes gone of the last quarter and it's all Richmond North Melbourne not in the picture at all as McCann gets the knockout back to Schimmelbush he sends the ball over the half forward line. A chance here for McDonald. Jess is there. The ball punched out again by Hogg. Picked up by Smith. Grabbed by Palm. Back to Strawn. Tries to force his way through. A hand pass comes out to Demetrio. He fumbles. He's right now. Snaps at the goal. This could be all right. Yes, a goal. And boy, do they need it. Two goals to Andy Demetrio. A badly needed one for North Melbourne. 11-6 to 15-17. And we're just on the 14-minute mark. And that's certainly the understatement of the year, Pete, because they certainly batted that, that goal, didn't they? There it goes again. Demetrio uh, jug, juggled that one, but uh, straightened up. A nice left foot goal. And, uh, of course, I'm not going to say they're going to come back, but it certainly would give them a little bit more heart. Two to Crocker, two to Demetrio, two to Spargo, two to Jones. The goal kickers for North Melbourne. 
That was Dimitriou's second goal, 14 and a half minutes into the final term. North Melbourne trailed by 35 points. A long way from home, but they're in with a chance, certainly, after that goal. Up to half forward there for Richmond, the ball knocked away from Notting. He's first to recover, though, dives on top of it, but can't pin it. Socket away from uh, Harrington, the ball out of bounds. Left half forward flank for the King for uh, Richmond. Number 14 there in picture for Richmond, Geary. There's their major goal kicker, he has three. McCann, centre of screen. Knocked away from Clark. Picked up by Clark and booted down towards the 50 metre line. Jonas and Geary. Moore comes out well. His kick is a high one though, doesn't travel much distance. And in fact it's out of bounds on the full. So nothing going right for North Melbourne at the moment. The free kick will be taken by Richmond's uh, Craig Smith. He's one of many goal kickers for Richmond. He's kicked one. The time it's a short pass. Not a good hand pass there by Ania. Can't get it past Norman. Glenn Dinning gets it into the open space as to Larkin on centre wing. Larkin's handball is effective. Good tackle by Bauer though. That was brilliantly done by the tall guy. And knocks it on again. Great stuff. That was a throw though I think from Clark. And the umpires caught him on that occasion. And it will be a free kick to go to Matthew Larkin on right centre wing. 15 and three quarter minutes gone. Larkin goes for the hand pass. Norman. Norman in turn to Ackley, not much going right for the Kangaroos, that's out of bounds. And the old story again, when you're hot, you're hot, and when you're not, you're not, and the Roos aren't even warm at the moment. 35 points the difference. McCann on the left, Clark on the right. One by Clark, can't get it clear, Lovell. Lovell from left half forward flank. Gets it back towards centre half forward. Rioli starting to show some of the old Mr. Magic. Goes right across goal, but he's got two Richmond players out there. And the mark taken by Anir. Could have had Bauer. Bauer moving downfield to take this one, though. 55 metres out from goal. Clear of Norman. He'll have a long shot. It's going pretty close. Into the goal square. Three North Melbourne players are there. Fairly bumped over the line. So too is the ball from Poole. It will be a boundary throw it in the forward pocket. Just on the 16 and a half minute mark, 35 points the difference in favour of the Tigers. And they're looking good. Knocked out by actually uh, McCain, got over the top of Matt, and then the ball is still out of bounds in the forward pocket position. Well, they st stopped to a walk since about half time, North Melbourne, Pete. They've done little since then. Certainly have. Knocked out by Manton again. A chance for Waitman. Drags the ball up towards that half forward line, knocks it out towards. Uh, and here, but pushed on by Law, picked up by Schimmelbush. He's got a paddock to run, and he goes for a pass. It's grabbed by Spargo. Spargo's kick is up there towards Jess and McDonald. And in comes uh, Glenn Dinning, but Jess is first there, taps it on along, looking there for Hogg, picks it up nicely on the boundary line there. He's booted around towards the uh, wing position. It'll go out of bounds, I think. Yes, it's... No, it's still in play. Picked up by Spargo, back to Law. Law with the ball back now to uh, McDonald. He uh, couldn't get clear. Well played by Hogg as he gets a hand pass out now. Sidestepping that time by Clark. Picked up by Geary. The ball back there towards Rioli. Well intercepted that time by North Melbourne. And we see Fairley go for a pass. Picked up by German. German shoots the ball back towards the full forward position. Coming in as Norman's got a chance to score. He does. And boy, do they need that one too. So it's 15, 17, 107 Richmond and North Melbourne, 12 goals, 678 as we approach the 18 and a half minute mark of this last quarter. Watch that again. German boots it up there towards the goals. Over the top of the pack, bounced nicely for Norman and a left foot hook shot into the goals and scored six points nicely for North Melbourne. Still 29 points the difference. North Melbourne, well, I guess not out of it, but the Tigers very much in the box seat. Well, they'd certainly have to lift their game about 75%, uh, Pete, to have a chance. Just on the 19-minute mark, Richmond still doing it well as McCann gets it down to Larkin. Been a pretty quiet player tonight. Picked up now by Strawn off the side of his boot, but Anir's out there. He's played a crackerjack game tonight too, but he's had a few mates. Been a good team effort by the Tigers. Anir's kick is around towards the wing position. Rollings couldn't pick that one up and it's out of bounds on the centre wing position. There's no doubt that Barry Rollings gave them a bit of bite too when he came on the ground about halfway through the, the uh, second quarter. 107 plays 78. 
just on the 19 and a half minute mark Larkin couldn't get clear the ball comes back to Big Clark taps it on that's little Atkins out there At Atkins out there on the half forward line goes for pass it'll be always a chance now for North Melbourne to score a running shot at goal that was Fargo getting that one through but it's uh, off target a couple of Richmond players had cramp and one of them still on point. the ground so it's 79 plays 107 well no wonder they're tired because they've had most of the play particularly since half time just on the 20 minute mark ball back into play again tapped on to Rioli he runs into uh, Glenn Denning that time couldn't get clear Glenn Denning uh, had a bear hug on him but the umpire will ball it up right on Richmond's 50 metre mark in their attacking zone 20 minutes gone so time running out for North Melbourne there's a chance for Shimmerbush couldn't get clear they pile up again and the umpire will just about ball this up uh, at the centre half forward position for Richmond well it's actually out towards their half forward flank position I think both sides will be pretty tired and uh, Kennedy of course wouldn't be too happy with these boys since half time Peter he had plenty to say at three quarter time you could just about hear him from here knocked away by Jonas and away from Demetriou Larkin takes possession knock on to German picked up by uh, Love of it is with the ball hustled over the boundary line and it will be a boundary throw in Eustace off the ground for Richmond he certainly looks pretty tired Rollings again short pass that's effective that was a near, gets it back to the centre wing position as the ball still in play, the boundary umpire about 40 metres behind, Notting tried to keep it in, but in fact it will be a boundary throw in at Richmond's left half forward flank. And the Tigers seemingly with the match well and truly in their keeping, and that's a great comeback after their 101 point annihilation by Hawthorne last week, knocked away by McCann, and the third go by Fairley, gets it into the arms of uh, Dimitriou Dimitriou's kick up towards half forward the mark taken by Big Manton North Melbourne's disposal tonight has been anything but good especially after half time and then they kick three goals since the main change Manton's kick back towards the centre wing position off the hands of McCann chance for Waitman beautiful ball gets the ball out of the open spaces picked up by Pickering Pickering back to Geary who's already kicked three from the 50 metre mark looks for Rioli well tackled loose ball at half forward for Richmond the umpire paid a free kick to North Melbourne the advantage rule played as Harrington drives them forward back towards centre wing knocked away by Spargo in goes Glenn Dinning went without the ball Strawn went past without it now takes the hand pass that was effective from Ania back to half forward knocked away by Fairley not very far Poole Richmond's best player snapshot of goal that's pretty good oh great snapshot by Poole that's one of the goals of the night Poole putting through his second and Richmond 16th 16-17 113 to 12 7 79 that indeed was the sixth. well that's given them a lead of 34 points watch that again the great goal this Lewis certainly it? was he scouted out beautifully went through the pack back to his own judgment a right foot snap of the goals never looked like missing that one and of course that's given the Tigers a 34-point uh, lead and I would say that's sewn up the game for them. 23 and a quarter minutes got in the final term and that was Poole's second goal, 113 to 79. Pushed out by McCann. Well, there'll be a stack up there that's normal at the bottom of the pack. Ground very heavy in the centre like a glue pot. Well, it usually is at the MCG when we've had a heavy rain because that's the Merry Creek soil. The rest of the ground's not that bad, Lou, really. Oh, no. well, we've seen a good standard of game. Rowling's kick over to Demetrio, he's collared, he goes into the mud, the head first that time, and the umpire, there's uh, also Rowling's down there in the thick of things, and the umpire will ball it up. Pass more to come on, accurately coming off. Well, they can't do much about it now, North Melbourne, because we're just on the 24-minute mark. Back it comes now to Norman, taps it onto Schimmelbus, juggles the ball, back it goes to Demetrio, a hand pass coming over to Spargo, running to an open goal, let's fly, and that's a goal. Well, that's saving... Uh, a little bit of embarrassment for North Melbourne. Three to Spargo. North Melbourne, 13-7-85. The Tigers, 16-17, 113. 
Well, they're bouncing back a little bit better. Good uh, piece of play on the part of the North Melbourne skipper, Shimmerbush. Over to Demetrio and uh, Spargo getting another goal. 11 kicks to Spargo and four handballs. Centre bounce again. Just on the 25-minute mark of this uh, last quarter, 85 plays, 113 in favour of the Tigers. Grabbed here by Matt. There's a longhand pass. Back there to uh, Pickering. He goes down. Fairley's on his back there. He goes down too. They're falling over like nine pins as Jonas kicks it out towards the wing position. Taps it on. Ball is out of bounds. Well, German had no chance of grabbing that one. So it's out of bounds on the centre wing position. And they're still looking mighty good. A difference of 28 points. It's been a good effort by the Tigers because they've had most of the play since half time. Ball pushed out again that time uh, to Smith. That's Terry Smith back to Rollings. Taps it on smartly over to Notting. A hand pass coming back. A fumble by a near cop. One try to find uh, Rioli coming in now with Smith. Pickering missed it. Go after again. Tries to give it to Smith. Ackley's got it there. He's grabbed by the foot to Demetrio. A hand pass coming out from Harrington. Schimmelbush got one from Jess. The umpire set too high, but he's paid the advantage rules. German with the pass. And that's a good mark to Crocker. Quickly plays on it. Back it goes to Smith. Smith with a hand pass back. Or it comes back there from the back pocket position. The umpire's found a free kick. I don't know what it's for. It'll come back here. It'll go to Crockett. It might have been played after that, uh, even though they played on for a while back. So Crocker's got it on the 50 metre mark. And they're trailing by... Uh, 28 points. 28 points. Pushed out uh, by Palm. He's battled pretty hard tonight. There we see uh, Hogg getting a hand pass back to Terry Smith. Back to Lovell at uh, the centre-half back position. Goes wide. In front is Passmore. Couldn't hold the mark. Kicked off the ground now by Rollins. He's played a great game, the old Tiger. Look at him go here now. He's got a chance to score a goal. That is a magnificent post. <laughs> well, that certainly goal. deserved better. 29 points the difference now. What a game... Uh, Barry Rollins has played since half-time. Pete, he's been really tops tonight. He certainly has. Waiting for the ball to come back into play. Into the time-on period by just on two minutes. Oh, there's a good mark to Glenn Denny. Well, actually, he hasn't been one of their worst players tonight. He really had Pickering. He's had Pickering covered all night. It's been a difficult job because considering the amount of times that Richmond have been into attack, and we see a mark going there to Rioli. Shorthand pass, a dangerous one. Oh, Braun copped the heavy one that time. He was tripped. Umpire talking to Jonas. And having a go at uh, Jonas as a near. Now the umpire's a yarn to a near. I don't know what a near chipped in there because Richmond got the free kick. No good worrying about after you've been paid the advantage. Storm with the ball there about 70 metres. Oh, he got him on the chops with the hand. So a near took that short pass from Storm right on the 50 metre mark. And they're in front by 28 points. Just over the 27 and a half minute mark. A short pass, not a good one. And a good mark taken there by the North Melbourne skipper. Shimabus, who looked pretty tight to me. He's can hardly run, Pete. Let's hope it's not his uh, Achilles giving him problems again because he did appear to be limping. To a centre wing position, picked up by Atkins. Just about through that one out to Shimmelbush. High hand pass, back towards the boundary line. No one's there. It will be out of bounds. 28 minutes into the final term. Well, the win by Richmond here is certainly going to open up the final five because they'll now be one of five teams on 28 points with five games to be played tomorrow. So the BFL is indeed laughing. It's shaping up to be a titanic finish to the uh, first part of this season. Out of bounds in front of Lovell. Now for Atkins, couldn't do much with the ball, but a free kick is going Richmond's way for a push in the back to that player. And Lovell to take it on centre wing. Lovell goes long up towards the half forward line for the Tigers. Pass more in the back. McCann in front though takes the mark. He's tried hard all night. A good deal with Clark. I think Otters have been fairly even there. Perhaps McCann's done a little bit more around the ground. McCann's kicked a half forward. Missed by Manton. And the free kick going north. Melbourne's way for in the back. And the recipient will be uh, Ross Glendinning. Short pass out to Matthew Larkin. A lovely balk and sidestep. Gets around Smith from 50 metres out. Larkin goes long into the goals. It might even be a score. But Palm hustles it through for only one point. To North Melbourne. At the 29-minute mark of the final term, Richmond well and truly with the game in their keeping as Jess brings the ball back into play. Jess to the outer side. No mark. Bauer. Long ball to centre wing. 
Notting. Who kicked two goals late in the third quarter, getting very confident. Richmond bouncing it on the wet turf. Notting up towards full forward, knocked out of bounds by Buckley. And a boundary throw and will take place about five metres from the behind post. Not too far from the siren. 86 plays, 114, a difference of 28 points. In favour of the Tigers. Just on the 30-minute mark, Pete. I think this is indeed the longest quarter we've had in the match. Clark getting the front position. Picked up by Law. Fumbles. McCann. High hand pass. Buckley. Back pocket left. His kick up to the centre wing position. Picked up by German. German's kick back towards centre field. And the mark taken for North Melbourne by Spargo. Here's the hand pass back to German again. But there's the siren to end the game. It's been a great win by Richmond. And they're now one of five teams on 28 points and still with a chance to make the final five. The final scores on Sevens Big League, Richmond 16-18, 114, defeating North Melbourne, very disappointing in the second half, 13-8, 86. Go for the mark. Go for the mark. Go, go for, the for the mark. Go for the VFL mark at Meyer. Real footy guernseys, real go footy shorts, mark. and real supporters wear jumpers in all club colours and badges. Go for the mark. Go for the mark. Go for the mark. Go for the VFL mark at Meyer. Well, the Tigers, despite being without their skipper Mark Lee and full forward Michael Roach, making light work of North Melbourne, who were most disappointing. The final scoreline showing the Tigers 16-18, 114, North Melbourne 13-8-86. The win for the Tigers keeps them in touch with the five. Seven wins for the season now, but they are still in ninth position on the ladder, equal with North Melbourne, who are only ahead on percentage. The weeks ahead are so important for these two teams, and I hope you'll be joining us here on Pro Football when all that action unfolds.